Bobby. What perfect timing that was. All right, get back on the track and uh, don't block anyone. Oh, there's two more spins. I'm already up to P11. Another one's gone. P10. Oh, why are you going so fucking slow? It damaged my wing. Already. All right, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, Hayden, remember to turn on yeah. repair front yeah. wing. Yeah, repair front wing is on. We're going to medium tyres. Sorry, really <laughs> sorry for this team, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a penalty and the front wing changed, so... <laughs> Alright, good luck, boys. Three positions. Good job. Oh, Alex. That wasn't very kind. Oh, Good man. stuff, uh, Thibaut. Perfect pressure. Nice. Perfect. Okay, come on, boy. Let's get through this field together. We've got this. Job. All right, Profi is on seven lap old softs. Yeah, should be light work. Just take it cautiously. A lot of cars yep. here. It's, it's chaos. Oh, one's gone. All right. Seven. What a restart this has been. Good job. Profit blinking. Well, he's gone. Free position for you, Tebow. We've been dear rest of the car ahead. Lovely. Uh, and car ahead is on eight lap hold hards. The city spun. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna get down here. You will have exactly. You will have exactly 60. 66% of where on the finish line. Cool. P4. Oh, spin! Braz is gone. Okay. Alright, Hayden, remember. Um, think of the long season ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I know, I know. Dirk is around 20%. Yeah, they're fine using your rest. Didn't mean to do that. Hayden, I will take ASAP. Yeah. Yep. Copy. You can. You have the pace we got him. Copy. All right, good job, sir. Now get him. Up this stuff. Purple sector one, Hayden. Thank you. And PB for you, Tivo. In sector one. Oh, safety car. Uh, stay out. Well, well, I'm just worried that everyone's going to go softs. Welcome to Ferrari Strats. Tires are already orange. <laughs> like 60% on the rear left. This is going to be difficult. Yep. I'm hearing uh, Squid has a possible penalty. Yeah, due agree, to The fact agree. that he killed somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh, good race there, good race. I didn't take the win. I was literally so close. Oh, we'll see what happens with penalties, but you know what? GG though. Do you know what? One six. From missing quality, starting at the back, rejoining, having a yes. crash, going back to the back and getting P2 and only really getting screwed over by the... The, the safety car at the end. I'll take that. I'll Hello. Take that.
no, it's no longer the AI boys anymore. And He's... girls, welcome everybody to Ooh, drum roll F1 2012. Would you look at that? F1 2012, the beautiful Sahara Force India car in its absolute glory right now. And that is the car that we're going to be driving for F1 2012 career mode. Welcome, everybody, to the chat. Give me a big hello. And we, of course, are going to give you a big shout out in return. And one thing I've forgotten to do, this is not actually plugged into the right monitor. I haven't got any sound. I'll be right back. Hang on. You say hello, and I'm going to read out names whilst I get this set up because I've got the wrong sound at the moment. And I can't hear anything, which um, is not really ideal at all in the slightest. Um, so, yeah, there's that. That's a good start to everything. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Two seconds. Just going to get this plugged in. And then we are. You can look at the bright red t shirt that I've got on right now. Uh, welcome. Thank you very much for the subscription from Rai Golban, Lati 9F1, and Skywing. Uh, they weren't actually during the stream. That was uh, two hours ago, three hours ago, and five hours ago. So uh, the chances that they're probably in the stream are minimal. But if you are, then there you go. There you go. There you go. Welcome. Right, okay, we've got the sound. We can hear the beautiful menu screens. And welcome, everybody, to the chat. Let's say hello to you all. Do say hello if you haven't done so already. I want to say hello back to you. Right, welcome. First of all, we have got... Uh, I need to close that. I can't see. Lorenzo, welcome Lorenzo, welcome Bill, welcome Zetto, welcome Doctor, uh, welcome also to, um, who else have we got in the chat, F1 Fan is here as well, Seep Matze, Matze, Daniel, welcome to the stream, Owen Jones, we've also got in the chat Monster Mods, Nils, Arslan, Haldane, uh, shout out to the people that were here before we even went live as well, you guys are the real OGs. You know who you are. We were having a little chat before the stream. Slightly. I mean, I, I just said hello. You guys said hello back. It wasn't a massive chat. We, we spoke a little bit. Finn Hopkins, welcome. Welcome as well into the chat. Akaz, welcome Tom654, Alma. Uh, we've also got in the chat Citro, Kaz Yun, TD Bacos, Zoltan, Merry, Country Facts, Welcome to all of you guys. Welcome to everybody to the chat. Welcome everybody getting ready for this F1 2012 career mode. What a game. What a game is F1 2012. And I'm very excited to play. I hope you guys are as well to watch me get through this game. I mean, there were great songs on this game. What a life. Just drive. Honestly, the menu screen, I was singing that. Uh, that's what a life. I was singing that one earlier, getting into the mood of this game. Because them recreating... The start of the season of F1 2012 with that music is just so good. It just gets me hyped all the time for this game. Welcome, uh, Tor Ericsson, Tilde, Tilde Esley, Akos, uh, Enri, Pate, uh, Ayan. Welcome, welcome, Sjord. Uh, we've also got in the chat, Redis Gaming. How you doing, Redis? Um, Racing Inc. How are you doing? Welcome, Crazy Casper, as well. All good, Crazy Casper. Look. When we have these little conversations, we, we don't mean anything malicious about it. If you've been a little bit naughty out on track when we've been racing with you, we just tell you off and give you a little bit of a warning to calm down. And if you do that and you listen to us, then you're going to come back and you do it again. Then you're going to be put on another timeout. So uh, just take on what we said and just be better next time. Improve from it. Uh, remember me from the Imla Grand Prix. Of course I do. Karzian, how are you doing? Uh, welcome. Right. That is everybody in the chat. If you're new around here, do hit that subscribe button. But let's get into the F1 2012 career mode. We are, of course, starting off our career with F with Sahara Force India in 2012. Now, we could do the young driver test, but we aren't a young driver anymore. We have done two seasons of career. F1 fan, I remember all of you in the chat. Don't worry, you don't have to say remember me. I remember you all. T-Panks, how you doing? Love your vids, Hayden. Thank you very much, Ayan. We're in Force India, but if you want to see how the season has been going so far, then why don't we have a little look? Down memory lane over here as we turn on screen capture. And now we look at this. Okay, so this is a little look down memory lane. So we can see right now if we go F11. This is how the season has gone so far. We started off in 2010. We finished, as you can see, P9 in the standings. Got a total of 
five podiums here in the rankings. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different winners in 2010. Liuzzi and Schumacher winning a race in 2010. And Vettel getting the most wins, but not winning the championship. Very interesting. And that is going to continue into season two. We also have the Red Bull here taking the Constructors' Championship. They demolished that with Weber and uh, especially Vettel. But Mark Weber wrote his name in history and won the 2010 World Championship. Then we moved over to 2011, where we finished second in the championship. What a drive in the last few rounds. If only we'd scored some points here at round 15. I can't remember what race that was. That was, um, that was Japan, wasn't it? Because we went a lap down. We would have scored points there because we went a lap down. Uh, we got seven wins. Our best performance so far. It's only been two seasons, but seven wins. Our total of seven wins as well. And a total of nine podiums to add to the five that we scored in 2010. Seven wins, yet not the champion. Just like in 2010. The winner did not have the most wins in the season. In fact, the winner only had three wins, just like Mark Webber did as well. Closer in the Constructors' Championship in 2011. Ferrari, 423. Red Bull, 411. And then we have McLaren on 402. Now we move over to a clean slate. The 2012 season, where we'll be getting ourselves underway momentarily to see just how we can do. Hayden, first race, first win in Australia. We're going to try our best to do that today. Okay, we are going to try our very best and our very hardest to do that here today. Let's have a look at our emails first. Uh, I accidentally went to, go to session. Never mind. Looks like we're getting straight into it. Long Formula 1 season ahead as we're about to start the new Formula 1 season. We can look forward to 20 races, the longest season ever, I think, in Formula 1 up to this date here in 2012. Um, so let's see what we can do. Can anyone match Vettel? Well, Vettel is the reigning world champion, of course. He's only got the one championship in 2011. He is not hunting a third world championship like he was in 2012. It's only uh, one championship. Mark Webber winning the other. So let's see if he can do it back to back here in 2012. And the teams announced this year's driver lineup is going to be Paul DeResta and myself, Force Sahara, Force India. Let's get into it. Let's see what we can do for the Force India team. F1 2012. Save game will corrupt. What do you mean? Why will it corrupt? High hopes for this season. I think it's going to be more difficult. I think we're going to find this season a little bit more difficult than we have found them in recent weeks. I just want to warn you guys that we may have nearly won it in, 20, uh, in 2011. Not too sure if that is going to happen back to back here in 2012. Bro's got a Sky Sports commentator as a teammate. Let's go. Well, we've got a lot more options here. Okay, quick car setup. I don't really know what to do with setups. To be fair, to be fair... Maybe I have some saved. I have a Athlete VG. If anyone knows Athlete VG back in the day at F1 2012, what a freaking legend. I don't know what this guy is doing anymore. He used to be a content creator back on 2012, 2013. And then I believe he was training to be a doctor or something along the middle. I think he was training to be a doctor over in America. And I hope if he is... Doing well, that everything is going fine for Athlete VG, and he's happy in life. We're going to steal the team at Marduk uh, set up and hope that this is okay. Um, he better not screw me over. Let's see how we go. Samin, I'm doing well. How are you doing? I heard my name. Cough, cough. <laughs> not your name. He's a doctor. Unfortunately, though, with this game, the UI kind of gets worse. I feel like the UI from before was better. Uh, we've got the upgrades there. We are on a aggressive upgrade strategy, uh, which could help us get to the front of the grid. Uh, let's do the R&D objective. We've got two. Beat the target time without using your DRS over the course of three laps and only using the rich fuel setting. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let's do this. Easy peasy. I will show you the rags to riches with Today computer. We're going to look at the engine setting. Sound is a bit I want weird. You to head out on track, select the rich engine mapping and do three Oh laps. my god, I've got no Each turn in at all. Carpet is awful. Time, I'm not allowed to use my DRS. Your DRS at all. Anyone else's sound a bit weird? Mine just sounds a bit like, like it's a bit whiny. Oh, a bit loose there. Car is so understeery. Oh my days. What is this setup? No sound. That is because, uh, no, you do have sound. Sounds all right. Don't lie to me. 
The engineer is loud. Okay. Well, we can use Kurz. We just can't use... Um, what have I missed? Absolutely nothing so far. And if any of you have missed the previous two seasons, F1 2011 and F1 2010, the F1 2010 season is currently a video over on the YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel right here. Uh, 2011, part one will be uploaded tomorrow. Part two will be uploaded uh, next week. Uh, next Monday, hopefully. You're showing good pace. Keep it up and we should get some good R&D Lovely data. through there. The car just sounds really weird. I don't know if that's just me. My headphones. Maybe it's just my headphones. I've got so much understeer. It's actually awful, but it might be quick. You never know. It could be on the edge, but it could be quick. Oh, I'm not looking. Don't be quick if we're doing that. So much understeer. I liked your video so much. Thank you very much. Do you watch F2 and F3? Uh, yes, we do. Occasionally. Not as much. Um, but I want to get into it more. Just got to try and find the time. Sorry I'm late. No problem. No problem. It's very responsive on entry to corner. But then like mid corner, it's very non-responsive. If that makes sense. Like the turn in is almost instant. But then you're just slowly flying out wide. Okay, we're going to easily beat this target time. Uh, 138.6 it wanted me to beat. I did a 133. And I've got to do it three laps in a row, right? I'm going to do it three laps in a row. Okay. Let's go and beat it. Vamos, vamos, vamos. It's annoying that you've got a car to just do it one lap. Those were the better days. I missed 2010 and 2011 already when I could just do one lap of practice and then get straight into quali. They just want to make these streams longer, don't they? I always use... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I always use Force India in F1. Um, To be fair, I've used Force India a few times. It's a good team to use. To be fair, I'd usually go for like a Catrum or a Lotus. I'd always used to start my career with the bottom team. Um, and I just preferred Catrum was my pick. Catrum and Lotus were my pick because I love a green race car. Give me a race, green race car any day of the week. Right, we're currently slowest out on track, but we have, are doing R&D objectives. Oh, running it wide. You can win this. Go, Hayden, go. Thank you very much, I am. Come on. But this is going to be... To be fair, more realistic since you can't get data from one lap. Yes, they can. Don't know what you're on about, Liam. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Nah, it is more realistic. It's just uh, I like to just rush through things. It's just the way I am. That's a corner cut. See what I mean? The car is very responsive, but unresponsive at the same time. Whoa! That was too responsive. What is that? Is Force India actually better than Williams? It's, it's a tough one. The Force India, because they had both drivers consistently, but they had, they scored more points in the championship. Williams had a better result of a race win, but they didn't have better results, if that makes sense. I think the Force India was just on it a lot more and had a lot more consistency across the season. That lap puts so, second place. Oh, that's P2. Whoa, car is very, very slidey. Very, very slight. I don't know if that's the uh, setup or watch out, but it feels a very, very loose underfoot. I blame Team at Marduk. This is his setup. I stole it from his channel. So if we crash because it's setup wise, we all go and blame Ben. Do we agree? Whoa, that's a bit too much grass. That's a bit too much grass. Hayden, will you play F1 Manager 23 when it releases? Yeah, I will. I don't know when or how. No, I don't know how much I will uh, play it, but I will definitely will give it a go. Come on, come on, come on. I hope you can do co-op career. I, I, I haven't listened. I haven't watched the videos on the announcement yet because I've uh, been busy so far today, so I'll catch up on that later on. But I hope they bring some sort of like co-op online where you have two people control different teams because that would be sick. And that is how I would play F1 Manager. That's the only way I would play F1 Manager. I want to play it with other people. I'd definitely play it on my own. But I feel like it would be so much better. I'm controlling one team. Someone's controlling another team. That'd be so sick. 
But maybe that has been announced. I don't know. Maybe I missed that. Lovely, lovely. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we done it again. We done it again. Too responsive. Right, last lap here in practice for us. Paul DeResta goes fastest. Let's go, teammate. Paul DeResta. Get out of the sky, Comsbok. You are the fastest man on track at the moment. And we are not. It's a 131.5 for us. But it is enough to beat the objective. We can return to garage, go to qualifying, and see what we can do. Better tyres to go on the car. Uh, definitely, I agree, Blame Ben. Exactly. Do you think there'll be a young driver's test update to F123? I don't think so, sadly. I sadly don't think there'll be a uh, skip session. Uh, probably easier to go like this. Could skip to qualifying like that. No, no, I'm definitely going to qualify. Next time Ben streams, we should blame him for the set. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I want to see, okay, I want somebody to put in my Discord where everybody in the chat has gone, Ben, your setup sucks on F1 2012. Just so random. And he'll be like, why is everyone telling me that? Just tell him that his setup sucks on F1 2012. It could actually be really good and I'm just, uh, I'm just bad. Uh, man, even in 2012, there were options and primes. Yep. We still only had two sets of tyres up until, like, way late in the uh, in the game cycle. Right, if you are new around here, before we get into this race, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're subscribed to the channel. We are hunting down. We're so close, actually, We've to 27,000 subscribers. I think we are, like, four. currently, like, 10 away, which we will definitely do this stream. Uh, if I don't, then I'll be very, very shocked. Um, right, so that first thing's gone on the car. We are aiming for a top 10 here in qualifying. Hopefully, we do achieve it. I don't actually know what... Um... I don't actually know what distance I put the race on. Oh, no. We've done Q1, Q2, Q3. Yeah, that's going to be way too long. And also, I don't even know how long the race is. Right, let me go back to menu. I need to see, I need to see if I can change this. Go back to menu. Uh, quit to main menu. I just want to see if I can change this because uh, I've done a little oopsie there because I went, I was too eager. I went straight into the session when I should have done so. I should have waited. Uh, DRS improvements for Force India. Things we love to see. We are six subscribers away from 27,000. That is insane, guys. The growth has been absolutely incredible recently. Absolutely incredible. Almost 27K. Indeed, indeed. Hello, hello, hello to uh, everybody in the chat who is watching right now. Uh, right, we need to get back into the lobby. Let's go career. Now, settings. Race settings. Okay, we're 25% race. We have got a long qualifying. So for this one only, we will do the long qualifying. We'll do the one shot. We'll do Q1, Q2, Q3. See how we do. Uh, but we are doing 25% races. That is fine. Um, and other settings. Difficulty. So, is this... That's on, that's full, that's off, that's good. Um, that is off, that's automatic, that is on. Realistic, full, legend, four. Okay, so all of that is on. We won't restart the career. That is all good enough. Okay, uh, emails, all these things to go through. Uh, welcome to F1, race results, data, information, information, all of that. Right, okay. Let's do it. Let's get back into Australia. Q1. Here we go. Auto gears. Come on, man. Learn the gears. I know the gears. I just can't do it on a controller. I can't. I can't do it. It's too much for me. Thanks for calling my name, Hayden. But it's pronounced R Yan, not Ayan. R R Yan. Ayan. 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 To be fair, it's so tricky to go manual gears and medium TC. Took a bit of getting used to. I can do it on the wheel. Um, I'm not gonna learn it. For a controller. Seeing this game makes me feel old. Welcome to the club, sir. Welcome to the club, Mateo. We'll be old together. Are we on 27k yet? Have we done it? Have we done it? Oh, five to go. Five to go. Five more. Pronounce. Please pronounce the R. Aryan. R. Aryan. A R. A Ryan. A Ryan. A Ryan. Like that. Orion? Um, okay, right. Let's have a little look at car setup. Just make sure we got that on. What is Karnas title sponsor? Uh, it is like a... I believe it's a... Um, it's just a... Um, 
an, an air, airplane, like an air, an airline. It's an airline. Ar Orion. Okay, Orion. I'll try and remember that. Sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I need to take out the fuel as well. Got a rich mix. And then we've got how many sets of tyres available to us? Three. Let's just go on the one set for this session. Gonna track flying lap. Let's see what we can do. Cantus? Cantus? Nah, I'll say that. You're literally my fave YouTuber ever. I oh, know you are my fave watcher ever. No, that's no offense. Everybody's my fave watcher. You're not. No, 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 no. I take that back because now you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, what about me? No, nah, I love you too, A. Ryan. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and thank you for correcting me because I want to be able to, I want to be able to chat to you and say you'll get guys' names properly. So, Right, now we can use DRS. Now we're going to be absolutely flipping rapid. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Liam. Absolutely rapid now. Whoa! We were so fast into turn one. I didn't expect that. The overspeed. Okay, okay, okay. I need to now adjust my braking points. The car is so sensitive on turning. Like, literally, I, I move the stick a tiny little bit. And it just wants to go. That's not corner cutting. You saw nothing, chat. You saw nothing. That was as clean as you like. Okay, that was clean. We have spent this whole lap on the track and haven't touched a single blade of grass. Who would have thought it? Okay, you need to come in. That is a beautiful line field. through there. So, so clean. So, so clean. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. No spins here. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Come on, then. Come on, then. To the line. To the line. We still got a couple of corner sets to go first. Oh, no, we got out wide. That's not good. We need a good lap because I just want to get through to Q1 on this set of tires. I don't want to have to do another lap. We've got to do a pit stop because we are running low on fuel. Come on, through the last corner. Here it's open. Kurz down to the line. FIA investigating for extending the track by one millimeter. I think you're making stuff up there. I don't think we extended at all. I don't think I've been off the track once this lap. You should at least have a million subs. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I would tell everyone I know to sub you. Yes. As we love to see Chris Rankin. Thank you very much for the subscription. And is that going to push us to 27,000? Oh. No. That was, that was the fifth one. That was Chris. Chris was the fifth one. The 2695. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at that. You guys, let me know when we hit twenty five, uh, twenty seven k. Right. Um. I don't know if this is copyrighted music anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just to just to be, just to be safe. I'm gonna just mute the stream, uh, or at least mute that part. I don't know if that's copyrighted music, so I'm just going to make sure that we play it safe and we will not get through that. Mate, I'm so happy that you called my name. Um, I couldn't be happier. Thanks for my day. No, I, Orion. I nearly got it wrong. Orion, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you being here. I'm happy to make your day, sir. Uh, right. Let's uh, take off that. Where are we? We're 18th! We're so slow in quality. Okay, right. I blame... Do we all blame Ben's? I think we all blame Ben's... Uh, I can't change the setup. We all blame Ben. We all blame Ben. We're all blaming Ben for the setup, aren't we? Right, new set tires just to get through the queue. Uh, to go to track, flying lap. Let's do this. Congratulations. He's 13. Oh, yeah, Danny Rick is in the game this year. He was in the game last year, wasn't he? Ricardo drove for... No, he came halfway through the season, didn't he? To uh, HRT. Or higher to get into the next ah, yes, lap. yes, yes. That makes sense. Daniel Ricardo in the game in the Toro Rosso. We nearly replaced him because uh, Toro Rosso was an option. You're probably wondering as well what we need in terms of who to drive for for 2013. Well... Lotus is a team that is available. The good Lotus uh, will be available. So we need to finish first and third. If we want Force India for next season, 
we got to make sure that we beat our teammate, Paul DeResta, in this 2012 season. That's also going to unlock plenty of other teams as well. All the options are down below in the description. So if you want to go check them out yourselves, go and do so. But basically, the team that we want, that's Lotus. So we need to beat our teammate and finish in the top three. That's what we need to do for this season. Are we improving? Are we improving? No, we're not. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, I need to be P18. To I need to be P17 to get through. Okay. Copy, copy, copy. Come on, then. How are we so slow in quality? Yeah, we want to be in them for 2013, then get out of them for 2014. That is correct, Doc. Right, we're up on our time there. And that was nice through that corner as well. Lovely, lovely stuff. We're a tenth up, and we are up on Bruno Senna at the moment. Right, I don't want to go too late into this corner. That's nice through there. Lovely. Didn't extend at all. Don't know what you're on about. Nice through there. DRS open again. Get the car on. Stopped on the brakes. One corner left to go. Come on. Come on. Through the right. Use the curves. Use the DRS. All the way down to the line. Is it enough to get through into Q2? It is. It's P9. We've been our teammate. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Right. Return to garage. That should be fine. This game looks really good considering its age. I know that they hold up. The 2012 games hold up. 2010, 2011, 2012. They all hold up. P9 in that session. We are through to Q2. Let's go. Four more subs needed. Come on, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hey DM gal, how you doing? F1 2012. Hope you're ready for the very harsh pens upon car contact. Oh no. Oh no, don't give me that. Don't 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 tell me that. I don't want it. I don't want it. Right. Um Q2. Gonna go out on the 91% used tires. And we're also gonna skip to the end of the session again. So I'm just gonna mute that. How do I do this? Can I, can I skip forward the time? Like that. There we go. Okay, right. Skip forward the time. Don't say that, gal. What position are you? We are... Well, we haven't set up time yet. I'm doing good, Ebony. Now, how are you doing? Welcome. Mate, how is the F1 car that you are driving? Is it good? What, the uh, 2012 Force India? It's all right. It's a little bit um, understeery, but it, it's okay. Right, we're just going to do one lap in this session. Screw it. We can do one lap and get through. One lap on old used tyres. That is how confident we are. And how wrong we are probably going to be. Uh, right. Three laps of fuel. Rich mix in the car. And then option okay, tyres. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that one. Got to track. Flying lap. Can't wait to be able to use my own account. Indeed. It's looking that you don't have that much control. Well, we don't have as much control as we usually do because we usually were on a wheel. Um, this is on a pad, which we're not that great. Right, we need to get inside the top 10. We're currently battling the other teams we had as options to drive as in F1 2012. Right, we're going to slow down, warm up the tyres, make sure they're nice and warm, nice and toasty. Get a bit of room to the car ahead and then absolutely fly. Unless they come into the pit lane. Well, we might block our teammate here. Hopefully we don't. Out the last corner, DRS curves all the way down to the line. What can we do for this lap in Q2 now? We uh, we go a bit too deep. We go a bit too deep. Uh, damn, Jean Eric Ravern, former Toro Rosso driver. Uh, if only if only Jean Eric Ravern had the chance of that Red Bull seat instead of uh, Daniel Kvyat. I love Daniel Kvyat, and I think he was kind of hard done by at the time. Uh, obviously, now it was the clearly right decision, but. Um, yeah, a bit harsh on Danny Kibia at the time. But I would love to see what John O'Byrne could have done alongside Daniel Ricciardo in the uh, Toro Rosso. Because they were quite evenly matched, I would say. Right? Daniel Ricciardo and John O'Byrne at the time in uh, Toro Rosso. Oh my god, I'm cutting like every corner right now. This is not great. This is not great at all, but... We're not beating the time that we need. We're only a little bit down, though. Got to close the DRS through here. Get it open now. Just one minute. There we go, there we go, there we go. DRS back open. Oh my god, we've used pretty much all of our curves. That is not good. I need the curves. 
Right, how about Sector 2? Is Sector 2 quick enough? Sector 2 is quick enough, but only just at the moment. Come on, Hayden. Come on. We're looking good maybe to get into Q3. And our first time of asking. We haven't done Q3 before. Oh, it's very, very and wide, though. Left in the, session. the tires may be dropping off a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. One more corner to go to the line. Is it going to be enough to see ourselves into Q3? No, it's not. It's P17. We lost way too much in Sector 3. Oh, it's a bad qualifying chat. Our first qualifying of the season. And we are starting right at the back of the grid, pretty much. Adrian Sitter remained free agent the whole 2012 because he was involved in a nightclub incident back in 2011 and was found guilty. Also, Sitter unfriended Lewis Hamilton. Wanted, Is that why he didn't tomorrow. drive? Oh, okay. That's for all corner cuts, P17. Paul de Resta also not through. So both Sahara Force India drivers out. But Paul de Resta beats us on the first time of asking, which is not good at all. I'm literally skipping my dinner to watch your vid because I'm in my house. The phone is not allowed at the dinner table. Well, this is going to be a long stream. We're going to be going for about three hours now. So I recommend you probably get your dinner. It might be a wise idea that you get some dinner inside you and then come back to us. Exactly. Get your dinner, then come back. You got beaten by a Sky Sports commentator. Thank you very much, F. Rosiero, for the subscription. Hayden, when is 2011 coming out? That'll be out tomorrow. Part one of the 2011 season will be out tomorrow. Five lappers later? No, no five lappers today. I won't be back on F122 for probably quite a while. Uh, not till Sunday, for, for sure. Force India to go bankrupt six years early due to the money they have to pay for the new driver, Hayden Gullis. <laughs> Oh, look at these. The highest lateral G-Force. Zero Constructors Championships won. Tomorrow, yes. 2011 video will be out tomorrow. Subbed. Thank you very much, F1 fan. Aiden, you should move your camera down. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I need to do that. Thank you for that. Doc, that's what your... That's your job, Doc. You're supposed to remind me of that. Right, I think that's probably about fine, I reckon. Let me know if it's not okay. We can change it. Uh, no creative, creative series is Saturday, but I won't be doing F122 lobbies on Saturday. So, uh, well, I might do. I don't know. Depends when we have to do the HelloFresh thing. One sub away. Come on, chat. We can do it. One sub away. Right. So, fuel in the car. Can we change the fuel for the race? We can't. We've got 58 laps of fuel in there. Oh, my days. Okay. Uh, 17th on the grid. Race strategy for today. Let's start on the options. Pit for the primes. I can't remember if uh, pit stops are good or bad on this one. I can't remember. But uh, race fuel strategy. An aggressive strategy underfuels the car. This makes the car lighter and faster. But will mean the driver must heavily manage the fuel. I think that'd be fine. Uh, we can do that one. And go to the race. There we go. Let's do this. Everyone hit that like button as well. Let's try and get to 100 likes on the stream. I mean, we're on 69 at the moment. Which is very, very nice. Um, and we've done it! 27 thousand subscribers thank you very much everybody who has been supporting this channel in the entirety of its history it's been around since 2015 we are giving it some love recently and you guys have absolutely been smashing it on the support so i cannot thank you guys enough and i'm going to reward you now here we go the first race of the season in australia the lights are coming on the engine is revving and we are Racing in Australia. Straight away going to put it up into Rich Mix and see what we can do for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's not as good of a start as we usually do on F1 2011. Kind of getting boxed in a little bit. Somebody's crashed into the back of me. We have held P16. We've jumped Bruno Senna. We've used up all of our ERS. Now we're going to try and have a look and see if we can lunge it on the inside of anybody into turn three. Oh my god! There is confetti everywhere. We've taken out Sergio Perez, I think that is. And I've got a penalty. I don't know what on earth has happened there. I don't know what on earth. Like, look at the confetti explosion. Bang. The Torosos lost their front wing. And then we've just all had been cut across. Like, where do I go here? I am going to use a flashback because that is absolutely ridiculous. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dart across the track. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to... We're going to let him break his front wing. That's his fault. 
Um, we're going to just back out of that one. Oh, okay. And we've hit the Toro Rosso anyway. Rosberg has lost their front wing. Perez, I think, has probably got damage as well. We're going to go round the outside of all these guys. And it is P15 at the P14 at the moment for us. So that's not, not too bad. Uh, we're going to get held up again by a lot of cars. I don't know what's happened. Maybe more damage further up. I think that's a Ferrari. Who's going to be caught up? We've gone round the outside of Sergio Perez there. Oh, my God. What a 360 for Paul Rest. <laughs> what happened there? We made the slightest adjustment on the steering wheel. And we're just like, bye-bye. <laughs> that is how you, that's how you beat your teammate. Just pirouette them. Right, okay. Another flashback. Flashback number two. Okay. Right, we will not get any more flashbacks, chat. I promise. I promise. I promise. No more flashbacks. Around the outside. As Maldonado got damage. Kabayashi's driven off the track. What is going on? What is going on in this race? Schumacher's now crashed. Everybody is crashing all over the place. Schumacher's round. We're on the edge of points. Maldonado's ahead of us. I don't even know what to say about this race. I don't even know what to say. We have gone aggressive. We've underfueled. And I believe we have... Uh, we can still go... And push. Mode push on the fuel, which is mad. Right, okay. Okay, let's settle this race down. And let's try and focus on getting some good points out of this race for the first race of the day. We don't want to start our 2012 campaign the same way we started our 2011 one. And not, you know, get any points. Pull the rest up on our tail at the moment. All the rest are looking very, very racy. The AI are actually really, really quick in this legend mode. Let's be chill. For remember fuel. Yes, we remember fuel. We're going to go aggressive now. And then look at it later. Keep aggressive at the moment. Lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, nice through there. We're gaining on the AI here. What has happened to Pastor Maldonado? He's lost a lot of time. We've gone purple in this sector. Can we get Maldonado here? I don't know if he's got any damage on his front wing, but we're going to try and overtake him because that's a points position. I don't want to uh, miss out on that point there. We're going to go up the inside of Pastor Maldonado, try and get the car slowed down, which we do. And there we go, up to P10 and into the points. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Pastor, sign the autograph, please. The go, Pastor Maldonado. We've gone purple in sector two. It's only the second lap, though, so it doesn't really mean anything. I just want another season like 2021 and F1. Same. 2023 is a bit more on the boring side. I will uh, I will agree there. We've got a big cluster of cars scrapping behind us at the moment. Let's see if we can catch up. We've got Kamui Kobayashi, a Ferrari of Felipe Massa not having a good time in this race at the moment. And then I believe it is uh, a Toro Rosso maybe ahead of them. So uh, This is Ricardo's first home Grand Prix in this series. I have a question for you guys as well. Um, and I don't know whether I'm definitely going to do this. I just want to I just want to see what you guys think. We'll be able to mod from 2015 onwards. I'll, I will find out how I can change the driver's names, etc. We can potentially make it more like real life with driver swaps halfway through. For example, we've got, you know, Daniel Kvyat replacing Max Verstappen in 2014. So in, tw uh, in 2016. 2016, we have Danny Kvyat start out in the Red Bull, and then we switch it to Max Verstappen. You know, 2016 as well, Rio Harianto driving for Mana, and then switch him out for Esteban Ocon halfway through the season. I don't know what you guys think of uh, of uh, of that. Whether you think that's a good idea or not. Whether you like that, or whether you'd rather it just be like, you know, let's just play the career mode how it was, on a nostalgia basis. Right, we are currently chilling at the moment, P10. Um, we are still running the high fuel. No corner cut there. Nice, nice. Nice. We'll have a fix for that. Have a fix for what? What's happened? Massa fighting away with Kamui Kobayashi at the moment, which could potentially allow me a way through to some more points and beating the Ferrari driver. What lap are we boxing? We need to go, we need to go lean, we need to go lean, or at least go standard. Standard fuel now, standard fuel. Smooth turn, mate. Thank you. Thank you. One point. Let's get some overtakes gone. Kobayashi is overtaking Felipe Massa right now. And he's done it. 
Kobayashi has absolutely smashed past Felipe Massa for P8 in this race. Felipe Massa not having a good time at the moment. Nearly won the championship in 2011. But his championship hopes are not getting off to a good start here in 2012. But there's a long way left to go. 20 races. Longest season ever in Formula 1. 20 races here. Well, that is a corner cap. Yeah, sorry if I can't read messages as much. I'm, it's a struggle to concentrate and read messages at the same time. But I'll try my best to uh, read them when I can. When I can pause it, when I'm in the pit, stuff like that. It's actually Massa 09. What do you mean Massa 09? Massa bad in 09 as well. Right, we still got to keep an eye on that fuel. Pit stop is lap six in this race. Maldonado is hunting us down at the moment. But we've got Massa hunting down Kamu Kabayashi. If those guys can, you know, maybe scrap it out a little bit, we could have a chance to uh, close in on them and have a good fight for some more points. Now at the moment, we're just running our own race. Seeing what we can do. I'm going to get a little gauge of what the tyres are doing just before we come into the box. And I think... It might be best to go one lap early in this race. As here comes Pastor Maldonado on the left-hand side. Flying past me. Nothing I could do there. I had nothing. He had the DRS. There was nothing I could do on Pastor Maldonado with that DRS. Oh, my days. He even defended the inside line, but he was past me before he even got to the corner. And these guys are fighting. That is great news. Kamu Kabayashi, Felipe Massa. And I believe that is a Toro Rosso. Now Maldonado right on the back of uh, Kobayashi here. Let's see if we can pick him back off. We want to get ourselves back into the points of this race. That is a corner cut. And that is a flashback. And that is a disconnect on the controller. Okay, right. Um, let's use another flashback. We are running out of flashbacks. This is our last one, isn't it? We have two more. Two more. Two more flashbacks. Karma. Indeed. Karma for cutting the corner. I agree. Karma for cutting the corner. Oh, it's just definitely getting loose. But it's okay. It's not a problem. And now we're going to try and see where we can get past on Maldonado. Maybe after the chicane. The high-speed chicane. That's not good through there, though. That was bad. I want to save my ERS. I want to try and get him on the run down to the chicane. Maybe down into turn one. I don't know. AI are very, very quick through here as well. There's not a lot I can do against him. Now I've got Michael Schumacher who is in that powerful Mercedes, potentially going to be hunting me down as well. It might be difficult to score points on debut from Force India here. Because the AI are very, very quick. Uh, luckily, they're having a bit of a battle up ahead, which is helping me sort of stay with them. I'm going to box this lap, go for a fresh set of tyres, and then therefore avoid everybody in the pit stop. Uh, yes, I'm on a controller. I'm not on a steering, I'm not on a steering wheel. Because uh, I'm on an Xbox 360. Leicester forever. Thank you very much for the subscription. Into the box we go. It is going to be a 3.8 pit stop. Much better improvement from last year. Last year, they were around the three to the four to five second mark. So the fact that this year, we're doing them in a, a lot quicker time. So we've come out side by side with... I don't know who this is. This is the HRT driver. And we're out of the box. There we go. Della Rosa has been dismissed of. Let's see what we can do for the rest of this race. Now, I'm going to go rich now, and I will save fuel later. I'm going to push hard on this outlap, and then go lean later on when I can. But that was all to make sure we don't get held up in the box and have a really long pit stop. Because we've done that in F1 2011. We do not want that again. We want to avoid all the other cars. Especially being sort of in the middle of the, uh, of the pit lane. Hopefully, we don't get held up too much by De La Rosa in the HRT. The Cucumber car. De La Rosa, we are closing in on. But I reckon we can get him down in towards the, uh, in towards the next big braking zone. Should be able to close up here through the chicane. No, De La Rosa actually much better through there than me. That was corner cutting, but it's okay. We're going to use our ERS. Can we close in on straight line speed on Pedro De La Rosa? Lunging it on the brakes. 
Round the outside. Beautiful, beautiful overtake on Pedro De La Rosa. We need to do that as soon as possible in order not to lose time to the other guys when they come into the bits. Like that. That was not good. That was not good. Charles Peak in the box as well. Looks like Paul DeResta has gone for an early pit stop. Does he already box in this race? Where is everybody else? The driver's coming out of the pit lane now. That is Ricardo Schumacher has jumped us by an absolute mile. But we're going to get a good run through turn two. We're going to use all of our ERS. We're going to burn it all the way down in towards this next braking zone. Can we do anything on Schumacher here? Hard on the brakes. Right around the outside. And have we got him? Yes, we have. There we go. We've overtaken Michael Schumacher and taken back P11. Lovely, lovely move. Now, pass the Maldonado back out ahead of us. But there might be a few drivers still yet to pit. And maybe they can have slow in laps. They have a slow in lap. We have a chance. Pass the Maldonado. Two seconds up the road. This could be close to maybe miss out on points here. We're going to have to go lean soon. But we will do that once we know everybody has made their pit stop. We're seeing what we can do from now on. Save fuel sector free. Copy, 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 copy. Saving fuel in sector free. Michael Schumacher all over the back of me. That is another corner cut, but we get away with it. So we're going to keep on doing that. Push the track limits where we can. Right, saving fuel in sector free. Let's see uh, how this helps us. Gonna do this for a few laps and we'll just put it to standard and then lean the sector free. And if it doesn't help us with like four laps to go, we will uh, put it down to lean for more of it. Here comes Michael Schumacher with the DRS. We're gonna defend. FIA didn't see anything. FIA did not see anything. You did not see anything, FIA. I did not break his front wing. Nothing happened here. <laughs> oh my days. The front wings on this game are made out of paper mache, I swear. I swear. Also, I did not expect to, uh, him to be that close. That's my bad. I'm so sorry, Shumi. I'm so sorry. Very late move. Very, I know, I know. That was completely my fault. I'm not taking away any responsibility from myself. That was naughty, naughty Hayden. Maldonado driving away from me now. I think the point... Might be difficult to score in this race today. We're going to have to see what we can do over the course of the season in this Force India car. That Williams may be looking like it was going to be the better choice. Even the Toro Rosso could have looked like the better choice here. We're going to save the ERS for when we need it. And that is mainly down the start finish straight. Because Schumacher is going to come at us. And he is going to get us. He might even get us here. He won't. He won't get us here. Who's behind us? Schumacher. And I believe it might be the other Williams. I'm not too sure. Or maybe a Sauber. Could be a Sauber back there of uh, Sergio Perez or Kobayashi. Not too sure at the moment. Right. Use all that ERS. Use all the curves. Gullis versus Maldonado. Battle for the ages. Who's better? Shumi or Lewis? I don't think you can compare them. They're from different eras. They're both great in their own eras. Oh, we got debris. That's not Schumacher's front wing. That's somebody else's. Who is that? Whose front wing is that? Oh my god, I was in a lean mix. That's not good. That's not good. That's going to allow Schumacher to have a look around the inside. We're going to close that door. There is a driver going slowly. It is a Sauber of Kamui Kobayashi. We are back in the points, baby. Yes, that is what we like to see. Kobayashi gone. Kobayashi dismissed off. Kobayashi holding up Michael Schumacher. An absolute treat. Yes, Kamui. Yes, boy. Hold them all up. Right, whilst they're there, I'm going to go lean. No, <laughs> that's, that's the wrong one. I meant lean, not rich mix. I want lean. Lean fuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. There we go. Right. We don't have De Vries. What do you mean, Hayden? Not De Vries. De Vries. Seconds to Lovely through there. Right, Maldonado, five seconds up the road. I'm not catching him. Let's be honest, I'm not catching him. So let's save the fuel. Hold on to P10. This is a points position. We're starting off well. Even if it's one point, it is still a point in this championship. And every point is going to count by the end of the season. We need to obviously try and challenge for the top three. If that doesn't happen, then it could be a Force India again. Or Sauber. Sauber or Force India or even Torosso. 
three teams I don't mind going to. Five minutes McLaren reveal, by the way. Okay, so after this race, I can see this McLaren reveal. Are Williams revealing today or is that uh, later on in the week? Just keep it in lean until we're good. Yep, I will keep it in lean until we're good. And uh, until Schumacher catch up to us as well. But he's miles back. Schumacher really got held up. Look at him. He's back there. Really got held up by Kamui Kobayashi. Which is great news for us. Have you pitted? Yes, we have pitted, Henry. We have pitted in this race. Paul's pitting this lap. Lovely, lovely through there. Nice. Nice. Come on, come on. Seven seconds up the road the past the Maldonado. Currently seven seconds. How, how would you rate my ability on the F1 2012 game? I would say it's a solid 4 out of 10. Can't wait. I only heard about the Woolies one. Yeah, there's going to be like a triple crown special livery for McLaren. Uh, just like they're running uh, in for in IndyCar at the moment for this weekend's Indy 500. Hey, how's your day going? It's going well, thank you very much. How's your going? Hamilton said in the fastest lap of the race so far, 28.6. That's just going to show that we probably won't be uh, fighting... For many race wins this season. Unfortunately, as it looks like, a 131 is my best lap time right now on the Force India. Never know though, we could make some improvements to this car and get ourselves back up the field. My day is good, almost my birthday. When is your birthday, monster? When is your birthday? Right, come on, let's uh, see what we can do. Five laps of this race left to go. Five laps of the race left to go. Let's uh, hold on to this point. Michael Schumacher is on his way. You can see he is closing in at the moment. But we're going to try our best to hold him off. Nothing he can do. Thought you were good at F1. Recent F1 games. Yeah, I'm all right. Old F1 games on a controller. Not as good. My controller ability is, is quite bad. Ten seconds. Maldonado's up the road. This is a no man's land race chat. This is a no man's land race, but it might get interesting at the end. Michael Schumacher is coming to get us. He is on his way. If you are new around here and you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button to the channel. And also like the stream. Let's get to 100 likes on the stream for today. We can do it, chat. First race at F1 2012. We've got a long season ahead of us. Three more streams after this one. There's going to be five races today. Five races in each stream. And that's going to take us to the end of F1 2012. And then on to something special after that. It won't be straight into F1 2013. Some of you probably already know what we're going to be doing. But uh, for the rest of you, you're just going to have to wait and see. Come on, come on, come on. Vettel setting the fast lap now away from Hamilton. I wonder who's in the lead of this race. Our best lap time of the race so far. Yeah! 131.2. Let's go. Let's go. We're getting better. We're getting better, chat. We are getting better. And we've got it back into optimal. That is what we like to see. Back into optimal. Back, fuel back standard now. Okay. Copy, copy, copy. Oh, car, don't slide away from me. I haven't got that many flashbacks left. Please don't do that. Right, Michael Schumacher is gaining on me. To be fair, we are beating the team's objective at the moment. They just expected me to finish 15th in my first race. I mean, they're taking a runner-up. To force India. None of the big the teams behind. were willing to Just pay out for me. They didn't want to try out this young kid. Even though he has impressed in two lowly teams so far in Formula 1. Now he's moving his way up the grid to a still a midfield team. Force India. But they've got a lot of potential has this Force India team. There's a lot of talks of uh, an Aston Martin takeover in about 10 years time. So uh, that's currently on the radar right now. <laughs> For Force India. That's what we're thinking about. We're going for the long haul. No, we're going to have a look at what teams we can get. If we can get Lotus, that's great. If we can get Sauber, that's good as well. But also sticking with Force India for next season is not a bad thing. I will not mind sticking with Force India for another season. Uh, 2013, they are pretty decent. Probably about the same place. But if I can then stay with them for 2014, they were a good team in 2014. Aiden predicting the future. Oh my god, here comes Michael Schumacher. We're going to go defend to the inside line. There is nothing I can do. I've lost the point. We're going to get it back, though. We're going to use all of our ERS down in towards the, the, the hairpin here. Brake late. 
Can we do anything on Shumi? We can't. We can't. He doesn't give us any room. He doesn't have to. We weren't close enough. And I think Schumacher is going to take away our point. I don't think we've got the pace in this Force India car. I don't think it's going to happen, chat. We're going to try our best, though. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Compromise our line. Sergio Perez now setting the fast lap of the race so far. 128.0. He has probably just recently pitted to some fresh option tyres. And I think that's Schumacher going to get away from us. The AI, so, so quick in a straight line. Nothing I can do. DRS so powerful on this game. And Schumacher is going to sneak his way back into the points unless anything can happen from any of the leaders again. Any crashes or anything like that. Two laps left to go. Hulkenberg should have won Brazil 2012. I know. I wish Hulkenberg won that race. How amazing would that have been in 2012? Hulkenberg winning the race. Vettel winning his third championship. Oh. Hamilton finishing on the podium for his last race at McLaren. Okay. The car's falling away from us now, I think. Look at Schumacher driving away. We've just got no grip anymore. They're yellow, so they should still be good. Ricardo coming back. Oh. Orion, you've been gone like, what, five minutes? Of course I remember who you are. My memory's not that bad. How old do you think I am, Orion? From what the video showed, I think the McLaren is going to go black. Well, they've got three different liveries, so I doubt they're going to do... They can't obviously do different liveries for both cars. And I don't know which one they choose. Obviously, I prefer the Marlborough McLaren one. If they brought that back, that'd be so sick for the Monaco Grand Prix. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. And we've got to at least hold on to P11. Because then if anything happens up front, we're in a good position to gain on that. But I think it's going to be a difficult race here in Australia. It's not been too bad, okay? P17 to P11. It could have been a lot worse. Could be P12 though. Daniel Cardo not done yet. There goes the bollard. Daniel Ricciardo, what can he do? OMG, it's beautiful. Is it? Okay, I need to have a look at this. I need to have a look at this after this race. After this race, we will have a look at the McLaren livery. Come on, come on, come on. One corner left to go, and then we're on to the final lap. There is a bit of a cluster of cars up ahead, which could, could be back markers, and they could easily play into some trouble. But I think... We're back in the points. What? We gotta defend this. We gotta defend this from Ricardo. No, no, you do not, Ricardo. No, you do not. I need to defend this position. I don't know what has happened, but somehow I am back into the points. What on earth has happened? Ricardo all over the back of me now. You will not get points on debut, Ricardo. I'm so sorry. I am holding on to this. I don't know who on earth has retired out of this race. But we have been blessed with an absolute miracle right at the end when did that happen i didn't even notice when did that happen weren't even any yellow flags or anything i don't even know if somebody boxed oh my god come on come on we can do this jensen button it's just like real life wins the australian grand prix are we gonna get seven different race winners in the first seven races who knows it happened as we entered sector three. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, oh my god, I lost the car slightly. I lost the car ever so slightly. Ricardo now gonna be having a look. He's gaining on me. He can't quite go up the inside. We're gonna close that door on Daniel Ricardo. There is a back marker up the road. There's a lot of cars tripping over the back marker at the moment. I don't think they're gonna get any damage though. I think they're all gonna make it through nice and fine. Now it's just the run to the line. Can Ricardo beat me? On straight line speed with the DRS. We're going to use all of the curves available. Will it be points on debut? Or will Ricardo get us? It is points on debut for Force India. Let's go into the top 10. I don't know how we did that. I don't know what happened. But we did it, okay? We did it. We do have a steering wheel. It's just uh, it's on, it's on PC. It's not on Xbox 360. Yes! Points on debut. Right, Let's have a look who won the race. Jensen Button first. Lewis Hamilton second. Mark Webber in third, Sebastian Vettel fourth, and that is everybody else. Now, who DNF'd? Pastor Maldonado! It is like real life! I'm pretty sure he crashed in the real race right to the end, didn't he? It's just like real life! 
Pastor Maldonado and Heike Kovalainen out of this race. Paul DeResta down in 18th. We're beating our teammates. Let's go. Let's go. On to the next race. And this is how the championship's looking at the moment. Jensen Button leads. And we're P10. Constructed standings. We are currently P6. Things we like to see. Let's get into the next race, though. And we're going to look at the uh, new livery for um, this McLaren. This, this, uh, McLaren. Let's have a little look. Uh, Twitter. Okay. Okay, I see. So it's like a mix. It's a mix of all the three. You've got the orange from Indy. You've got the white from the Marlboro. I actually I actually really like that. I actually really like that. Have you seen it? McLaren New Livery. Monaco. I actually like it. It's a good blend, I think, of all the uh all the different uh wins across the triple crown. I think it's done quite nicely and it looks quite nice. I think it's good. Obviously, I'm going to want a uh, a full-on Marlborough McLaren livery. That's a Force India. True, true. It is a bit Force India-ish, but nah, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Right, let's get into the next race. Race number two of the 2012 season's ratings. Hayden, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's good. It's a good livery. Right, emails for the next race. So, race results, data after that. We gained seven positions. Uh, qualifying was a bit of an L for us, but we uh, made it up in the race. So that's good. Uh, information for the race, going to be dry. Going to be a little bit cloudy, but going to be dry for the race in Malaysia. And they want us to finish uh, P12 and P9. And R&D is not going to be happening in Malaysia. So, that is all fine. Let's get into the next race then. Here in Malaysia, race two is Malaysia. Where's Chong? Where is Chong for his home Grand Prix? We need him. We need Chong. Home Grand Prix, Chong. Where is he? One race in, and we are an hour in at the moment um, to the recording, not even to the stream. That is a little bit insane. Um, hopefully, we can fly through these next races a little bit quicker. I freaking forgot to change the setup. Hopefully, it allows me to change it before going into the quality session. Otherwise, we've got to do Q1, Q2 again. Hayden, don't race until Chong sees. What, what do you want us to do? Just sit here and <laughs> and wait? Hayden, I've won the car championship in and in September. I will start my first Formula Championship in the Formula Regional. Let's go! Let's go. Congratulations. Let's get some congratulations in the chat for Ingoglia. Please tell me if I've got that wrong and tell me how to pronounce that. If so, only 10 wins from 89 completed. That's all right, isn't it? 10 wins from 89 races. That's all right. Uh, no R&D, so let's uh, quit to menu, and uh, hopefully we can change that. Daniel Ricardo, congratulations, Hayden. Your refusal to give up is admirable. Keep it up and see you in Malaysia. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, right, please, 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 please. Please let me change the settings. Yes. Yes. Short, short weekend, full qualifying. No. That's just the... Uh, right? That's just the short qualifying, right? I think it is. Let's find out. Anyway, we're going to qualify. Let's have a little look. See what we get into. How are you feeling now that our rival, Vit Antonio Luizzi, is now out of the... Um, out of this out of the series he has been dropped also rubens barrichello has gone as well big sad from those guys who is our rival now in this series now that vit antonio luizzi has gone i don't even know if mclaren will be able to use that livery because i'm pretty sure monaco is flooding as well ah that is not good that is not good danny rick is the new rival okay so Danny Rick, if Danny Rick is our new rival, he could be our rival all the way through to F122. Because obviously he doesn't take part in F123. What other drivers? What other drivers kind of on the same pathway that will be there all the way through from now on to 2023? Are there any drivers on the grid other than the likes of Lewis Hamilton? Let's have a little look. Jensen Button, no. Vettel, no. Weber, no. We Button, no. Hamilton, yes. Alonso, no. Massa, no. Schumacher, no. Rosberg, no. 
Raikkonen no, Grosjean no, the rest are no, Kobayashi no, Perez, Perez, Sergio Perez is our rival because he will be with us for the whole season. So Sergio Perez is our rival now. That's it. Sergio Perez. Hayden, I'm about to start a new series in F122. It's going to be main Kevin Magnussen World Championship. We're going to do full qualifying. Wish you luck. Wishing you luck, Ronis. It is full qualifying. So we can't do short quality on this game. God damn it. What do you reckon, chat? One short or short quality? What should we do? Right, let's... Um... I don't know if this is going to be... I, don't, I think this is copyright free music, to be fair. I think it's just menu music. Let's just hope we don't get a strike on it. Um, just in case, I'm just going to do that. Because there's no reason not to. One shot, one shot, one shot. Okay, we can do one shot from now on. We have to do this one, but we can do one shot from now on. Right, we should make it through in the top 18. But just to make sure, we're going to go out on track now. Um, I need to look at a setup. Who's set up? Are we going to have load Tiamat Marduk? Remember, this, if this is bad, we all have to go into Ben's chat and say your 2012 setups are rubbish. Um, okay, option tyres. They look exactly the same on colour. That's not great. Uh, and flying lap. Let's see what we can do. It said full quality. Yeah, I was hoping it just meant like full weekend or like a full long qualifying session. Don't crash into Vern. Don't want to break our front wing. Oh my god, I need to go out Vern. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Vern? No. We're gonna get Vern? Yeah, let's get Vern. Get out of the way, Vern. Get out of the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him space. I'm gonna give him space. And hopefully not get overtaken by the car coming up to now. We go wide of the hairpin. Get on curves nice and early. DRS open nice and early. Let's see what we can do. Qualifying here at Malaysia. What a track! Why can't we come back here? What a track this is. Breaking at the 100 meter board. Get it thrown into the first corner if we can. We're a little bit wide of the apex. And a little bit wide of the apex there, but it's okay. It's okay. Can we open DRS all the way through this corner? We can. We can. That was nice. Right. Johnny Verne is actually uh, getting away from me, which doesn't bode well. Although we have gone purple in sector one. So maybe we just gave him a really, really big gap. Oh, that's wide through there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Hayden. Come on, that's wide in the, in the gravel. No! Oh, I'm trying my best. That's all I can do. I'm trying my best. Through here. Don't spin me. Thank you. And we're down, we're down. Is that down on, uh, that's down on Pedro de la Rosa, isn't it? Or, no, John and Vern. To be fair, Vern is ahead of me. Oh, that was not good. That was way too early on turning. Turn, car, come on! That was not good either. This is not going to be a good qualifying session. According to Google, Monaco might have a thunderstorm on Thursday and could rain Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be a wet race for sure. Let's just hope that the race goes ahead. Come on, through the last corner. That is very, very wide. Hayden Latifi, indeed. Indeed. I am Hayden Latifi at the moment. Right, come on, Hayden. Come on. Come on, Hayden Latifi. We're wide again. Turn. Why have I got so much understeer? This car is bad. The car is so bad. It's Ben's setup. That's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Now turn, turn, turn through the corner. Yes, right, okay. On the throttle to the line. It's going to be a 139. It's P18. Place. I don't think that's going to be safe. I'm going to try and see if I can get back into the garage, get back out on track and see what I can do. But I think that could be it. Uh, this is going to be very, very close. Very, very close. Let's go to this side. Go to track. Flying lap. Is it going to be enough? Are we going to miss out? You need to have it on long weekend to do the R&D. Nothing else includes the practice sessions. Okay. Time's up. Finish really? Lap. We're out. P18. 
session over and that's eight We are eight mudded. Absolutely course, mudded in qualifying. Okay, we're going to have to take qualifying a bit more seriously, I think, chat. I think we're going to have to take qualifying a little bit more seriously. Because uh, we're going to have to do full weekends. And we're going to have to do qualifying. P18. We are failing. Pull the rest of P15. Oh, no. First China. Now Imola. And then maybe Monaco as well. Ben's fault. Exactly, everybody. It's Ben's fault. He has supplied us back in 2012 with this setup. And clearly, he doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, oh, naughty Ben. Indeed. Indeed. Dear, oh dear. Blame Ben. Exactly. Favorite difficulty legend. Top 10 finishes. 49. Average points per race. 7. 96 Grand Prix. 87 objectives achieved. Zero clean races still. Three teammate challenges won. 1,680 career XP. High speed attained. 228 mile an hour. That is madness. That is madness. Uh, four fastest laps. Three rivals beaten. An 11th average finishing position. Right, here we go. Race number two of the career. Where are you, Chong? You are missing out here in Malaysia. Race number two. Who said it's the longest season ever? It is the longest season ever. This 2012 season is the longest season we've ever had so far. Right, race strategy. This fuel underfuels the car, makes the car lighter and faster. Okay, that's what we like. I know going to remember Ben over 11 years for the 2012. Exactly, exactly. Terrible, terrible Ben. Um, nothing we can change there. We're going to be on the option tires for the start. Let's go to track and let's do this chat. Let's get some points again. We don't need qualifying. We are a race merchant. That's what we are. That's what we always will be. Race merchant. Okay, remember that. Remember that. Here we go then. Round two of the 2012 Formula 1 season. It is Mark Webber in pole position. We, okay, we're down, we're down a bit. We're down the grid a little bit. There we are. We're P18. It was not a good qualifying session for me. We are using a TMM Mardu setup from 2012, right. which clearly is the reason why it's all going wrong. But the lights are coming on now. The engine is revving. And we are... Racing at the Sepang circuit for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Going to put it straight up into Rich Mix. Burn all of the curves and see what we can do down into the first corner. jean Eric Verne on our inside. Breaking at the 100-meter board. Trying to go around the outside of everybody if it can work. Find a little gap between Hamilton and Rosberg. And that's worked as well. Oh, maybe a gap here as well. What a start. What a start from us. We're up into P7. We've got cars around us, but what a start from the Force India driver as we move ourselves up in a P7 in this race, and maybe even more. Sergio Perez is up in the field. This really is like real see real life. Sebastian Vettel, what are you doing? Get out of the way. He was twerking in front of me. Give me a little wiggle. Shaking that booty. We're onto the podium. Guys, we are onto the podium. Never mind, it's gone. Okay, Sebastian Vettel's overtaken me. Here comes everybody else. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold on to this for long. We don't have the pace in this Force India car. Everybody's going to get past us. We're going to hold up the biggest train of our lives right now. That is what's going to happen. We're going to hold up the biggest train we've ever held up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What a start. P18 to P3. Okay, we lost out of P4. The P oh my, where's the car going? Okay, never mind. At least we're still ahead of Perez. What the hell was that? The car was like, okay, we carry on turning right now. No, we've done a Sergio Perez. I've got so much understeer. It's atrocious. And then so much oversteer. The car just slides. What is this setup, Ben? What is this setup? This is the worst setup I think I've ever, ever, ever had. And I have set up some really bad cars. Oh, oh, Vettel's made a mistake. Nothing we can do, though. Nothing we can do. Sergio Perez still on the back of us. I don't, think, I don't think we're going to hold on to this point, chat. I don't think we're going to hold on to these points. But we're going to try our best to do so. Driver's in the pits already. What on earth is going on? Everybody's coming in the pit lane. What is going on? 
What earth is happening in this race? Every single driver has just come into the pits. Is it raining? Is there rain? Have I missed rain on track? What is going on? What is going on right now? Is it slippery that it's into conditions, but we can't see the rain? I have no idea. I have no idea what is going on. Is it rain? Is it raining? I mean, I'm going purple. I feel fine. I don't think it's raining. Temps are fine. What are they doing? What have they done? There's definitely a wet patch on track. It's, is it raining? Is it raining backwards? Is it soaking up? Through? I have no idea. This is the strangest race I've ever done. No wonder I was slippering. Slippering? Slipping? I think there's very slight rain, yeah. But I don't know if it's cause for intermediates. We feel fine. Like there's a dry line out on track. Like you can see a dry line. So we're going to stick to the dry line. Did they start on inters? Is that what it was? Maybe they started on inters? I don't know. That would explain a lot of things. Fernando Alonso, 12 seconds behind me now. Box next lap. They were on options. Do you say box for inters? Okay. Intermediate tyres for next box. Intermediate tyres. Nah, what do you reckon? Danny Wick's in P3. I'm going to stay out. I'm going to stay out. That was a waste of a flashback, but I'm staying out. It's dry. I'm going to see what lap time I do here. But I'm pretty sure it's dry. Yellow flag. Yellow flag's out. What is going on in this race? We are setting 145. A 145. Is that slow? I feel like that might be slow. Of the car ahead in the DRS zone. Let's see what they set. If they set really good lap times, we got a box. I don't think it's wet, chat. We're gaining on Alonso. It is not wet. It is dry. It is as dry as a bone. There is no rain out on track whatsoever. I don't know what they've done, but we're staying out. If we have somehow shithouse our way to a Malaysian Grand Prix win, because the AI have been very, very stupid, but I, I really don't know. Or it could be a strategic masterclass from all of them. Well, that's, that's wide. Are they on inters? Alonso and Checo behind. They're repeating 2012. I, it's currently, if it wasn't for me being in P1, we are repeating 2012. Like, I can see why, potentially, because there is, like, a dryish line slash wet line, but it's not raining. So whether they're just boxing early for wets or Alonso now 13 seconds back, so he is gaining on me there. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But we are currently in the lead of this race. Paul DeResta, I think, has managed to get himself up the field as well. So many drivers boxed there. And it has helped us out massively. Massively. They aren't gaining massively, so you're fine. Cool, cool, cool. I think Alonso could be honest by the end of the race. We're set the fast up so far. 144.0. What has Alonso got in the tank? Or his lap time? Way way too early there. I've got so much grip. Too much grip. 12 seconds back. He's definitely gone quicker. Get about three seconds that lap there. Alonso is currently setting. Yeah, he's four seconds quicker than me. Oh my god. There's no way I hold on to this win, chat. There is no way I hold on to this win. But. But. We could potentially have a podium. Which is still Massive. And it, we, will, we need every point we can get to try and get this Lotus. So P13 or P3 would still be a great result. It would still help us big time. Box maybe. They pissed on lap one just because they wanted you to win. Hey CL gang, what have you missed? What haven't you missed? Oh my god. Where do we begin? Australia. Carnage at the start. Everybody kept crashing. And then Malaysia. Everybody boxed on lap one for no reason. And we're in the lead. I still don't know why. 
Right, Alonso. 11 seconds down the road. He's gained a bit there. But we're gaining on Perez, I think. I think we're gaining on Perez. So P2 could still be on the cards. If we can win. If we can win our second race for Force India. Okay. A lot of luck has happened here today. But you know what? They messed up. We've got to take it. Gullis Gate. Gullis Gate. Indeed. A 41.9. That is a massive improvement. How have we improved so much? Is that because the track side dried up fully? That's a lot better lap time, so. That means that Alonso won't catch up to me as much as he was. Three second improvement. Insane. Insane amount of improvement. AI isn't good in Malaysia. Cars love to get... Uh, yeah, I can tell the AI isn't great in Malaysia. They have gone offline a fair few times, in all, in all honesty. Right, 5 tenths improvement. Button now going quickest with a 39.8. I think that's showing that track is improving. I don't know why they boxed. You said that they were all on option tyres. So it's not like they started on the wets, got it wrong. That would have made more sense. If they'd have started on the wets... That would have made sense. Uh, we are on Xbox 360 right now. Alright, one tenth improvement. Alonso is catching us up, but he's going to have to box again. Maybe he'll get holed up in the pits again. Probably won't. I don't think he will. Because the drivers are enough behind him. Perez could have some issue. I think Perez is close. AI are, AI are more stupid than me. I have not pit. They have. Now, potentially, they could be going to the end. Oh, we need to put that. There's no need to... Oh, and we need to sort that out as well. Tires, tires, primes. Tires, tires, primes. Just want to make sure we are there on the primes. Right, standard fuel. Standard fuel. Okay, prime for your next box. Don't need to be pushing as much as we are right now. The pit window is open. Box this lap. I'm really confused as to why they did that, but I'm also very happy. Box maybe. Box in this lap. Box in this lap. Don't worry, we'll box this lap. No reason not to box at the moment. We won't get held up in the pit lane because they all boxed on the first lap. I don't know if they're going long into this race or if they're going for now two sets of options or two sets of primes. But uh, very, very strange. Everybody spam in the chat. Box, 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 box. I want to see your box, box, boxes in the chat. So I need to get a moat made for box, box, box. I think the AI put prime tire on. They are boxing again, are they? Yay. Good news. Good news. Fernando Alonso, the battle could happen though. I think it will. I think Fernando Alonso is going to close in on us by the end of this race. The gap at the moment is seven seconds to Alonso. Perez will even close up, but whether he will get me by the end of the race, I'm not sure at the moment. But we will have to wait and see. Perez though doing an amazing job for the Sauber team. On for a podium. You're definitely going to have the chance to win with a tyre advantage. True, true. Right, into the box we go. Break late. Throw it in like this. I like the Malaysia pit entry. It's a nice pit entry. Like that. Round you go. And we are into the box. Right. Let's see what we can do. We're going to have the uh, prime tyres going on, hopefully. Hopefully the game doesn't mess me up. Nobody else coming out. Fernando Alonso takes the lead of this race. Prime tyres going on the car. And it's a 3.8 second stop. Perez is passed. Now where's Jensen Button? Jensen Button will go through. And that's fine. That's okay, to be fair. We're going to have a nice big gap to all the other drivers. For when they box. We need to watch out that Fernando doesn't jump us when he boxes. Right, we're going to go to standard on this outlap. I don't know when they're going to be boxing. Maybe they're not even going to box again. Maybe they, their strategy is box lap one and go to the end on this set of tyres. It might work out for them. Maybe these tyres can last. I don't know. Who knows? Raikkonen up to fifth. He, of course, is back in the Lotus car for this season after sitting out a couple of seasons with Ferrari. Kimi Raikkonen back. He's in Lotus. He's in P4 doing a really good job in this race so far. 
Jensen Button. Current leader in the championship. Go lean, maybe. I'm going to go standard. Only because I want to try and come out ahead of Alonso. Because at least then I've got a better chance of holding on. Otherwise, we could just gift it to him by going lean and being slower but, uh, before he pits. You know what I mean? So we've got to make sure we push now. This race might need a separate section in your uh, catch-up uh, vids on this series. It's been an absolute madness. It's been an absolute madness here in Malaysia. We've got the train back there. They're closing in. But are the AI going to box again? That is the question. And when? Chong has missed out on an absolute brilliant Malaysian Grand Prix here. He's going to be gutted when he jumps in late and goes, what happened in Malaysia? And we'll be like, we were, never guessed when we were leading. Yeah, I agree they have to pit again, but you never know. The AI have done a silly thing already today. Could there be another silly thing on? Right, Kimi Raikkonen closing in on me now. I don't think I'm going to have a much to defend with, and I don't think I should. Hey, welcome F1HL. I don't think I should defend Kimi Raikkonen, because if they box again, I'll only lose out time by fighting him. And that's going to hand the gift and gift the win to Fernando Alonso. Which we don't necessarily want to do. So we want to... Uh, yeah, see what we can do for now. Just sit behind him. And just gain whatever we can on the rest of them. Push now, push now, plan B. I think we've gone to plan Z. You know, I don't think we uh, managed to plan for what happened at the start. 17 seconds quicker than the previous lap. That is a fast lap. Obviously, we haven't pitted uh, on this lap. We pitted on the lap before. All right, AI, if I'm right, they should probably be boxing around lap 9 or 10. If they have to box again. Or imagine they box first lap and box the last lap. That would also be strange. Right, here comes Kimi Raikkonen. Alonso, not in the pits. Perez, not in the pits. Button, not in the pits. Alonso setting a faster lap again. A 138.6. My fastest lap so far. 141, 42 at the moment. I think Fernando Alonso is going to come out ahead of me. But we might still stay ahead of Sergio Perez. Raikkonen gets us for now. But I'm pretty we sure they have to box it. again. I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to fight him. Luckily the AI are a bit silly. I can take a normal line through there. And he's just going to give me that position. It does make it a little bit annoying. Because he might go wheel to wheel with me here. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I think we're going to be okay. We stay ahead of Kimi Raikkonen for the time being. Didn't mean to do that. But we will do it. Raikkonen is going. He's right here. Primes can't go longer than 10 laps. Okay. That is uh, good to know. Oh, a little bit wide there, but not on the gravel. And that's nice through that section of corners. Okay. Can they go five laps? They can go five laps, we I think. Or do you mean options? Is running on full revs. He's trying to close the gap. They've got to be boxing now, surely. Surely. Surely they've got to box this lap. This lap or the next one. And where will Fernando be? Fernando absolutely flying in this Malaysian Grand Prix at the moment. Fair play to him. You know, he's absolutely smashed it on pace. Kimi Raikkonen now going to get the DRS on me most likely. Or is there not DRS down this straight? He's coming back at me. He can't get past me here. Nobody in the box just yet. Even if we only score P4 in this race, it is still an incredible achievement. In our second race of Force India, which is a car that I don't think is barely scraping anywhere near the top 10, is the Force India. There goes Raikkonen once again. We're going to let him through. We're going to let him have that. And once again, we're just going to go up the inside. He's going to let me have it. We go around the outside here and go on the throttle. Get on the curves. A little bit of a fight. Something again I'm not too sure we want to be doing. But I'm now a little bit more wary that if they don't box, we want to hold this position. We want to fight for P4. And I feel like we can do. Right, got to save the fuel soon. Let's start saving it now. Let's start saving it now, chat. A little bit on the grass. 
a little bit on the grass again. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Use a little flashback there. Uh, right, we've got one left to go after this. What do we do if we get P5 in the championship? Uh, we drive for Salba or for Cindia or Toro Rosso. We get the choice. We get the choice of the teams we drive for. Whenever you use your flashback on this game, somebody has an incident. I don't know who that is, but there is a yellow flag out in Sector 2. It is behind us. I don't, it is race ending because we're down to 23 drivers, so I'm not too sure who is now out of this race. But somebody has crashed. Hayden, quali lap, quali lap. I mean, I'm on low fuel mode, so I don't know if I can really do quali laps at the moment, but we can try our best. Right, I'm going to need the ERS to try and stay ahead of Raikkonen. Because he's going to be right on my tail. So I can use ERS here about that much. And then if he doesn't get me, then I can use it down the next part. Although it would be wise to maybe let him through. They're still not boxing, chap. I don't think they're going to box. I think they're going to somehow stay out for this whole race. Right, DRS is activated for Kimi Raikkonen. He is going to fly past me. Down in towards turn one. I don't think I can do anything about it. Stay with him. I don't, don't think I can do anything about this now. I think Kimi Raikkonen is going to get me. Or is he? We're back, we're back, we're back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, round the outside of Kimi. Yes, there we go. There we go, back in front, back in P4. Kimi Raikkonen's got nothing on us at the moment. Absolutely smashing it. Primes can't do the whole race. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because look at my prime tires now. They're barely worn. They barely even scratch the surface. I reckon they can. I reckon they're going to the end. I reckon they have pulled off an absolute huge strategy for the likes of Sergio Perez and making everybody else box. So here comes Riker and he's not going to be close enough. But everybody else box. So Perez is going to be on for a P2 here. Button P3 is pretty much going to be like real life. We are following the real life 2012 season right now with Fernando Alonso winning the second race of the season, Button winning the first, Perez on a podium. This is insane. Absolutely insane. I think Button will lead the championship still. They won't go to the end. Okay, okay, we will we'll, we'll, we'll see. We will see. Touching the curve there. That's not good news. A little bit curves. Fernando Alonso goes fastest. Still not pitting. Sergio Perez. Still not pitting. Button. Button? Or is that button that far ahead? No, 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 wait. They are that far ahead that I thought it was uh, the other drivers. Okay. That isn't good. What also isn't good is that these guys might all now overtake me. Here comes Raikkonen. I want the inside line. I want the inside line, Raikkonen. He's not going to get me anyway. I want to hold the inside line for Raikkonen. It's my best way to defend from him. Right, a big cluster of cars behind me at the moment. I believe that's Raikkonen, Grosjean. Kamui Kobayashi maybe as well in there. This is a really strange race, chat. This is a really, really strange race. I say just defend right now. I agree. I agree. Defending. Keep it on lean mix. Or should we try and get the fuel back? So much understeer. Maybe AI just doesn't care about tire wear. AI, imagine they all get punches at the end and we're the only finisher. Could you imagine? AI, all of them get punctures. Surely not. The tires can't be that bad. Right? How many laps have we done on ours? Because they've done pretty much 12 laps on theirs. 17 seconds to button ahead. Button, I think, is going to hold it, though. Even if they box... I think they're going to hold it. They are absolutely insane on pace. They're making it a lot tougher for me. I feel like they just don't have tyre wear. There's one car going down there. That's Alonso. That's Perez. And that's Button. I don't think... I think it's time for the guys' train. I agree. I also think it's time for the guys' train. Cut them off, get on the ERS, and try and get away as much as possible. It's not happened. Here comes Raikkonen. We're going to use our ERS, half the battery, just to keep us in contention. Going down into this corner, going to break hard and late. And go up the inside of Kimi Raikkonen, if we can. Oh, I thought it was going to make contact. We don't. We've got him. We've got him. 
we've got Raikkonen. Vettel now going fastest. Vettel in this train here. There's a Ferrari back there too. And we are now optimal fuel. That is what we like to see. Okay, that's good news. Music to my ears. Let's go stand and mix. Come on, come on, come on. We are on a good plan. We are on a good plan at the moment for a good result still. P4, I'm very happy with that. Even if it's not the position that I would have hoped after being after the first lap. We just don't have the pace. It's safe to say that this Force India car is uh, not quite the car that we should be having. Imagine the scenes they all pick. I think Alonso will still hold the lead. I think Perez might still hold P2. The only person we might be able to get is Jensen Button. Depends how slow they are on the pit stop. They're 21 seconds ahead right now. They're absolutely flying. And there is nothing I can do in this race. I've got one... Lap really left to go. We're back down to a minus one lap. We've got to go lean. Let's go lean. Back to optimal. We're back to standard here. We've got a nice gap there to Kimi. That's good news. A nice little gap here to Kimi Raikkonen. That we can try and hold on to. Get it nice and tight for the exit. On the curves. Kimi Raikkonen. Going to close up, but not by enough. I think there could be Nico Rosberg behind him in P6. Or it is the Sauber. Not too sure. Kimi Raikkonen unable to overtake me into turn one. And that might have been his last chance to nick away this P4. The AI have not boxed. So the only way now we can get back past them is if they get a puncture of some sort. For going this whole race pretty much on prime tyres. Still an absolute madness of a strategy. From the AI to do something like that. Where they box as early as lap one. Hold each other up in the pit lane. Because all the second drivers would have been held up in the box. That's why the cars are pretty much one by one at the moment. And there's no like teammates close together right now. Because they all kind of held each other up. Paul Resta could actually have a chance of getting some points. Someone's dropped off back there. But I don't think it's massive. I don't think Paul Resta is going to be in the points. How the hell have they managed 13 laps on primes? Because they're not that, they're not that wearing. Look at this. Mine are only that worn. They're fine. I reckon I could have done the whole race on primes. Fernando Alonso wins the Malaysian Grand Prix. Look at the pace that he's shown today. We were never, ever in a million years going to have a chance to beat him. Even if he pisses it again. Fernando Alonso has absolutely smashed this race. We've gone wide. We've gone wide. We've gone onto the marbles. But I think we're just about going to hold it. Kimi Raikkonen now is right on our tail. What is he going to do? Going down into the last corner. Here comes Kimi Raikkonen on the outside. He backs out of it. We're going to have the inside line into the last corner. Can he do anything? Sergio Perez takes home a podium. Jensen Button will finish it off in third. But we're going to be fourth in Malaysia. What a race. Yes. Let's go. P4. What a lucky, lucky race that was. I do not deserve that in the slightest. If they show our fastest lap times, we were so far off the pace. Look at that. I think we're the slowest driver, really well bar my points. teammate. No, my teammate was actually faster than me, but only by a tenth. That just goes to show that the Force India is a rubbish car. We should have gone to the Toro Rosso or maybe even the Williams. The Williams is quicker than us. Roman Grosjean down in 17th. Not a good day for him. Lewis Hamilton with the only DNF of the race. P18 to P4. Let's go. What a result. Fernando Alonso wins. Sergio Perez is second. Is this, is this real life? Are we literally recreating the real life 2012 season right now? Button wins first race. Alonso wins second. Perez gets a podium in P2. I DNF'd Hamilton. Did I? I don't think I did. Oh, well, he's a flashback. Maybe I did there. In the okay, in the driver's championship right now, we've moved up to P7. At the moment, that will unlock us a Sauber, a Toro Rosso, a Force India, a Williams, a Caterham, and a Mauritius seat for next season. But we want to get in that top three. We do want to try and get a, uh, a, a low seat for next season because that's really going to help us maybe challenge for the championship. P6 still. In the constructors, we're ahead of Mercedes right now. Yes, Nando was P1, Checo P2, but Lewis was P3. Lewis was P3, true, but, you know, close enough. It is close enough. Got to go and swim. See you later, Liam. Have a good day, mate. Enjoy your swim. K. Loom Patel, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Uh, didn't you end up P4 during the first lap? We did, to be fair. 
We did. We did end up P4 in the first lap, so not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty decent. Pretty decent race there from ourselves, if I must say so. Uh, right. I just subscribed. Thank you very much for the sub, Ben Sim. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Hayden, guys, happy to be teammate. Let's go. Let's go. Fernando Alonso, please, with podium finish. Podium finish. He freaking won the race. Let's go to China. China. Let's go. Lewis is a P3 here. Not realistic. Hayden, if you would make a 16 race calendar on F122 of all the 22 tracks in the game, what would you put on the calendar? I don't even remember what was on the calendar for 2022. Um, I would put in Hockenheim. Hockenheim, 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 Valencia. Then Valencia again. Then another one at Hockenheim. Then Sepang. Then Turkey. Then Britain, Singapore, Monaco. I think we're near 16. Um, I don't know. Uh, right. We've got R&D again for this weekend. Race results data. P4. What a race from us. Uh, team are going to be very, very happy with that result. We are ahead of our teammates. And we get the teammate rivalry right here. So I don't know if we have a proper teammate rivalry like we did last time. I have to have a look at the garage for that. Uh, settings. Long weekend for qualifying is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do proper qualifying, um, which is a little bit annoying. You are a good driver, but I think Aravir is better. How dare you, Ben Sim? We are currently winning the Aravir Hayden Trophy right now. Aravir is in the mud. We are 5 free up. All right, you take that back, Ben. You take that back. <laughs> nah, that's fine. That's fine, Ben. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That's what you think. You're wrong. If that's what you think, it's okay. <laughs> Schnapple knows. Hey, Mr. Dark Shadow, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Right, let's move on to the Chinese Grand Prix. I think you, I think, I think you are right there as well. I think you are. The Bens are in the dog box today. Why are the Bens in the dog box today? Oh yeah, because Ben bad. Ben's got a bad um, uh, setup, and Ben has come in the chat and said, "Arrow's better than me." Arrow's a better driver. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's all good, Ben. Will you join Ferrari? Potentially. If we unlock Ferrari, at some point, we will drive for Ferrari. Charlotte Sampson, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? GM, welcome, Hayden. If you do one shot short weekend, I think it does short quality. No, it's just one shot qualifying. That's what that is. It's just one shot qualifying, which is slightly annoying. Right, do we have a setup for here? Uh, load and save. TM at Marduk. Why do we keep using Team at Marduk setups? Because they're probably still better than my setups. Let's be honest here. Uh, R&D objective. What do we have to do? So, without a with a low fuel load, beat the target time over three laps without using your Curs system. Okay, no Curs, but we are allowed to use DRS. Let's do it. And we've got to beat the overall time in three laps. So, not just the uh, one lap time, the overall. Okay, okay breaking news, Hayden guys, PR agent, let's slip that he went to Force Mr. India for the money and should have stayed at Williams. Maybe we should have stayed at Williams. All is good, though. All is good. Hard on the brakes. Oh, my God. Okay, braking. Non-existent uh, for that corner. We cannot break at the 100-meter board like we usually do. Owen Hood! Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Right, let's uh, break at the 150-meter board, maybe. Makes the corner. Maybe not. Maybe not. I've still got so much understeer. Um, I don't have a brake pedal. I just have a brake trigger. Right, no ERS allowed. Low fuel mode. Let's see what we can do. Following ability is decent. Not too bad. Do a little bit better through that. So much understeer, Ben. Why does he love understeer so much? The English man, Hayden Gullis, deserved the win in Malaysia. The AI is a troll. I cannot believe they You're pulled that off. Doing 13 up. laps on prime tyres, making me think that maybe I could get a win. And those prime tyres were absolutely rapid, faster than our options, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Right, the, around here, you don't actually want to go on that apex there. You also want to miss this apex too. Um, so that is, that is how you go fastest around around China. I love this guy too much that I'm playing F1 manager whilst watching him. Hey, thanks, Charlotte. I'm excited to be playing F1 manager 23. I'm excited. I can't wait. To, I want to try and see what I can do on that game. Because I don't just want to do normal, like, 
just the Volk Sanic Rim. I don't want to do challenges and stuff like that and see uh, what different stuff I can do there. Don't bin it. I'll try my best, Charlotte. I'll try my best. Why a flashback? Better just restart the program. True, but it's only uh, it's only practice, so we get flashbacks. Right, break before the 150. Hold the brakes. Still, still nothing. Still nothing. F1 Manager 22 was a waste of money, in my opinion. I don't think it was a bad game. I think for a first time out, though, it was good. But I think there's definitely stuff to improve on. I think if you compare it to, like, F1 22, I think F1 22 is more enjoyable. But it's been around since F1 2010, Formula 1 games. They've been working on these games for ages. F1 2022 manager, you know, it's the first time of asking. Give us some time. Give us some slack. It was a good game. I'm playing it right now, lol. Who are you with in your career? Don't you get in my way. Don't you get in my way, whoever you are. I'm on a practice program, sir. It is Heiki Kovalainen. This is probably my favorite Katram livery. Maybe that one or maybe the 2011 one, actually. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's actually the 2011 one. I don't know. Oh, that's why. Too much speed there. Right, can we can we hit the apex this time? Yeah, we mounted it. Oh, that was probably slower. It's probably slower. Aston for me, your Ferrari, Charlotte. Nice. Are you managing them to victory? Or are they still making bad strategic errors? You tell them to do one thing, they still end up doing the opposite. You're like, right, we're going to go for the best strategy in this race, and this is going to give us an easy win. And somehow Leclerc just boxes on his own. I sack the strategist. Nice. I got to go. Keep up the good work. See you later, Ben. Have a good rest of your day, man. Thank you for joining us. Right, break before 150 this time. Much better. Much better. Okay, that's good. Are we on to beat the target time? I think we need a two-minute lap in order not to do so, right? So we should be fine. Yeah, we need we need a two-minute, seven-second lap time in order not to beat it. 140.0, fast lap time so far. We have got drivers coming out of the pit lane. So let's see what we can do. Oh, we're going to get on the grass. It's okay, round the outside of Shoal. Get out of the way, Shoal Peak. And then we got, who's this? Vitaly Petrov? Ahead of us, or is it Guido van der Gaard? Oh, no, it's Bruno Senna. Oh, Bruno! Your tires are at a good temperature. That's why we don't talk about Bruno. Oh, we're going quicker than Pastor Maldonado. He said a 39.7. Pastor Maldonado goes quickest. Wide again, but it's okay. And again, but it's okay. This time we didn't lose time on the curb. Didn't lose time off the track though. Oops. Oops. The goat. So you're on about me, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the goat. Yeah, yeah. Right. Five place grid pen. Who's got a five place grid penalty? Get off the curb! Get off the curb! Get away from it. Okay, good, 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 good. Still no curves. To be fair, we've done that lap time with no curves and we're just behind Pass Maldonado. That's okay. Oh, and F1 is Mark Marquez. That's a fair shout, to be fair, as a career mode. Get the car turned in. No, we've gone wide. Braking for there is so difficult. Oh, Bruno Senna, the GOAT. Indeed. And down towards the line to beat the target objective by 27 seconds. And that was a slower lap time there, but that's all good. Right, return to garage. Let's get into quali. Let's get into quali for this race. Hay fever, itchy nose. Right. Qualifying. It's going to rain apparently in that practice session. So luckily we got out in the dry. A decent six place. P6. Okay. Pass the Maldonado P2. We're P6. We didn't even use any curs. I think probably a lot of people got out on the wet tires. So they didn't actually probably push on the dry. But no, 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 no. We did that legit, okay? That was legit. Everyone agrees, right? Everyone in chat agrees that was the legit time. Right? Please? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, see? Charlotte knows. Charlotte knows. Uh, right. Let's uh, go option tires. Uh, I'm going to skim the... We don't need to I'm going to skim the session, session just a little bit. I'm going to mute the music again. Ever since Rossi drove a Mercedes, I'd like to see if MotoGP riders would be good in F1. And vice versa. You know, get some F1 drivers in MotoGP. 
Lewis Hamilton, I know, has showed interest in, like, doing bikes. Right, Q1. Let's go out with 12 minutes to go. The track's going to rub it in a little bit. Be a little bit quicker. Be aware. Take out the fuel. Go to the Rich Mix. We've got uh, the team at Mardu Ben Daly special live... Uh, oh, my God. Look at this. It's literally just one way, one way, other way, other way. Absolute madness. Straight line speed. We don't have any straight line speed, even though we have 1-1 one, one wings. Why can't you use softs? These are softs tires. I believe the yellow ones are softs. The white ones are mediums. Oh, let's go to track. Let's do it. You see the new McLaren? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It looks good. Ooh. Right. Let's see what we can do here in quali. Ben's staring at me. What are you looking at? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> She's cute. Uh, right. Let's see what we can do in this qualifying session. They're boxing right in front of me. That's great news. Get out of my way. Right, here we go. Qualifying for China. Down to the line. Use all the curves. And let's see what lap time we can put on for the first one. We just need to get into Q2. That's all we need to do. Nothing magical right now. Just a Q2 lap. That will be that will do. That'll be good enough. Out wide a little bit. DRS open. Use a bit of curves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Purple? Purple sector one? Hello? I mean, we did that last time and it wasn't quite purple in the end, but hello? We'll take that, we'll take that. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep it tighter this time. That's better. That's so much better. Okay, you need to come in before you run out of fuel. That's not, that's not, that's, not that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Limited our engine. I hate the limiter on the engine. I hate it. It gives me like a double penalty. I don't want that. Penalize me. Yeah, but not twice. Hey! Funky Moses, thank you very much for becoming a midfield runner member on the channel. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Enjoy your emotes in the chat. Let's get some Hayden hype in the chat and some Hayden love in the chat. Come on. I want to see him. Get the emotes flowing, boys and girls. Come on, come on, come on. A new member to the Domed family. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, Charlotte. Yeah, indeed. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Right now, way, way early before the 150 meter ball. Get the car turned in for the hairpin. Lovely. Ebonino. Doctor, that's what we like to see. Let's go. Throw it into the left. We're a bit wide. They cut down our engine a little bit. And it is across the line. P1! What? I was not expecting that. How the hell are we P1? How do we go? How do we go from being so slow in Malaysia to P1 in China? How does that happen? It's the upgrades. It's the upgrades. We got the front wing upgrade. The other one I don't think worked. I think the other one failed, sadly. Or we don't get it straight away. I remember that I used to call Maldonado as McDonaldo. <laughs> Why was that funny? I don't know, but I like it. McDonaldo. Right, I think, I think we're safe. I think we can uh, fast forward the time. And I think we'll be okay. Because we are currently P1. If we get knocked out from here, I will be shocked. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Let's fast forward it. Let's see what we can do. Hated his hacking. Get him banned. No. No. Still P1. And there we go. Yes. Through to Q2. Can we make our first ever Q3 appearance? P1 legends. You should be okay. And we are okay. We are indeed. Right. Q2. Let's do this. Let's get through to Q2. I'm only going to use one set of ties as well. The money from the members. Straight to paying off the FIA for a fourth stream in a row. Shh. shh, shh. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. My lag is insane. I think you need to refresh the, st the stream, Daniel. Um, right. New set of option tires on the car. Again, I'm going to skim to about... Let's go... How many minutes remaining should we go? 10 minutes? I think 10 minutes would be fine to do two laps. 10 minutes, two laps on board. That should be perfectly fine. 
Uh, yeah, I think that should be good. Ten laps on board. Okay, right. Uh, make sure we take out the fuel as well, because that's going to help us. We don't want to. We want to be as quick as we possibly can. Rich mix in the car, and let's go out to track and see what we can do on this new set of tyres. Will this get us through into the next stage of qualifying? What do you reckon, chat? Q3, yes or no? I mean, we went faster, so we should do, but they could have been sandbagging. They could have had the sandbags on. And we might be a little bit slower here in Q2. Let's wait and see. Q3 or cockpit camp? No, 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 no. You know the rules. We don't go cockpit camp unless we get five gifted members. So there will be no worry of cockpit camp. Right, let's see what we can do here. Come across the line. First lap here in Q2. Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? Welcome, RK Gamer. It has... It's only been a little while. It's not been that long. You were in the stream like last week, weren't you? Hope you're well, though. What have you been up to? Not that tight through the first corner there. Could be, definitely be better. Let's get the DRS open. Can I ask a question? Sure you can, Charlotte. Of course you can. Hard on the brakes. Get the car thrown in through the right. A little bit wide. A little bit wide there. Okay, okay, okay. DRS is open. Oh, no. Don't get in my way, teammate. Please. Please, teammate. Please, please, please. He's going to get in my way, isn't he? He's going to get in my way. Please, DRS star. Get out of the way. You're nearly out of fuel. I will take you out, DRS star. Go back to Sky Sports commentary. Too bad they fired you. Right, okay, come on. That was only for that. That was harsh. My poor teammate. We are on for pole. We're on for pole chat. I, I don't want to get people's hopes up, but we could be on for pole here. We could be on for pole position somehow. Bruh, I just got 2.30. I have exams. In two weeks, and I've been revising crazy whilst watching you. Hey, nice. Best of luck on your exams. Thank you very much for tuning in when you can, though. I appreciate that. But uh, good thing you've been focusing on your studies and not just watching me on the stream. Charlotte, what's your question? Through the last corner. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, it's so good. It's P3. It's P3. It's not quite pole. But it's P3, which could be enough. It could be enough. Do you watch rugby? I don't. I am a tall, lanky person, and I was very, very weak in school, and um, I was not one for rugby. It was not for me. I got crushed by rugby players once, and I was like, I don't want to do rugby anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do rugby. <laughs> so I never got into it. Looks like I'm not going to gift the five here. Well, we're going to get into Q3. That would be a gift enough. Uh, P3 at the moment. My teammate, P9. Is it enough? Are we going to risk it? Yes, we are. We're going to save the tyres. P4 on the grid at the moment. Is it going to stay there here in qualifying? And it is. P4 pulled the rest of through as well. Force India has pace. If I say hacked on, do you know who I am on Twitch? Hacked on? I thought you were Ronald from Twitch. That's what I thought you were. I thought you were Ronald. Am I right in saying you're Ronald? Why are your DRS still enabled all lap? Because back in 2012, you could do that. I think they stopped it in 2013. Force India do well at Power Circuit. The setup is finally working. Yes, that is... Yeah, see, I thought it was. I thought it was. I've... And then you said hacked on. I was like, why is he saying hacked on? But I think it's because you you always autocorrect, don't you? It autocorrects to hacked on all the time. Right, we've got two sets of tyres, I believe, that we can use here in Q3. No, just the one. Okay, let's um, let's go for one lap. Let's go for one lap here in Q3. Oh, I realised that you didn't have sound for that lap. No one, no one complained that they didn't have sound for that lap. <laughs> Did you just like not notice or what? Right, let's go out with about three minutes to go, and that should be fine. That should be fine. Right, two minutes on the clock. New set of tyres on the car. And we should have enough fuel. Yes, we do. Let's do it. Right, here we go. One lap in quality. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. You've got sound now. <clears throat> God, my Ferrari is worse than the one in 2014. That is not good. Maui, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Right, Rich Mix on. We're currently last in session. But we're going to change that. 
Oh my god, there's a lot of cars down here though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give them space. We're gonna give them lots and lots of room. I think they're all coming into the pit lane. I think I've got loads and loads and loads of room. Hello Luando, how are you doing? One minute remaining, just one minute. Curs, ERS, down to the line. Let's see what we can do. Bam, across the line. Right, here we go. Quali lap in China. We could be on for a really, really good result here today. Let's keep it nice and tight through the first corner. Because I think that's how the track likes me to do it. Keep it tight through the second corner as well. Then get on the throttle. Use a little bit of Curs. Use a little bit of DRS as well down towards the next corner. I'm not going to break as late as I have done in qualifying because I just feel like it's slowing me down. I want to ride this curb and keep it tight, not get out wide and get the DRS back open as early as possible. It's going to give me the most amount of time through here. Right, DRS closed now. Lift off the throttle a little bit and then hard on the brakes. Through the right, keep it as tight as we can. Break late. Don't run wide, but don't touch the curbs either. No, 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 no. I think that limited my engine. That's not good. That's going to slow me down. We're still on for pole, though. We're still on for pole. Come on, Hayden. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. We are on for pole position at the moment. We could make it our first podium here in China. Who knows? Pit stop this lap. Yeah, well, we'll be finishing the lap anyway. Breaking hard before the 150 meter board. Keep it. Get it down. Stopped in time. Through the right. On the throttle early. DRS. ERS. Use it. All the way now to the final corner. Use as much curb as we can get away with. Curves and DRS down to the line. What is it going to be good enough for? It is... It's pole! <laughs> yes! Let's go. Pole position. By four thousandths of a second. Oh my god. What a lap. What a lap! Yes! Oh, we went from mudded in Australia to mudded in qualifying to in, in Malaysia. Lucky in Malaysia for the race to pole position. Is that my first pole? No, no, no. We got a pole position in uh, in Canada in uh, in season one, I believe, in 2010. First pole this season, though. I can't believe this from out in Q1 to pole. Yes, pole position. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Let's go. Common Gullis W. That doesn't deserve a like on the stream. I don't know what does. We're on 144. Let's get to 150. Come on, chat. Let's get to 150. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel as well. Fine margins. We're just... Yeah, exactly. We're just sandbagging. We are just sandbagging. Hayden, can I say hi, please? I watch your videos. Of course you can say hi. Feel free to chat with us. It's not a problem. Never write. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um, fine margins, Josh Wayne, indeed. Pole, pole, pole. Pole position. Hi, Hayden. I don't know what let's are. I've been thinking they're ERS, but I don't know. Can you tell me? Let's are? What do you mean, let's are? Lewando coat, indeed. Indeed, Lewando. Indeed. Right, let's get into the race. Race three of the 2012 season here in China. Kurz. Yeah, do you mean Kurz? Because if you mean Kurz, Kurz is basically like ERS, yes. It's more like a one lap thing only, though. Like, more like a you can use it once a lap sort of thing. Well, you have so much to use over one lap. Rather than you use it throughout the whole race and you've got to manage it up and down it's just like okay you, it replenishes each lap you can use this allocation Hayden here's the situation you either get a podium in this race or I give five members and you go copy cam okay that's a deal I'll take that deal right options we have to start the race in options uh let's see if we can jump uh we don't need to jump anyone we're in the lead that's fine okay cool thanks for telling me no problem what's your favorite f1 Four game mine's f1 2017 ready. I really enjoyed 2016 2020 and also 2013, I think I'd have to say, as my favourites. Even 2010, I really enjoyed the 2010 career mode. 2010's a good, 2011's a good game, just a bit too easy, I think. Round three of the 2011 season, and somehow, out of nowhere, we have put the car on pole position for this race. We've got the McLarens on the second row. My teammate got themselves in the top ten as well. They're P9. 
but let's see if we can hold on to the lead of this race or is the ai going to be all too powerful the lights are on the engine's revving. We're racing in Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix. Going to use our curse. Put it up into Rich Mix Fuel. Mark Webb on the inside is going to hold the position. We're going to go the long way around the outside. The Red Bull driver. We're still wheel to wheel through the first corner. And it looks like Mark Webber might hold it. But we get the inside line through turn two. And I think we're going to hold it here. And we do. We hold on to the lead of this Chinese Grand Prix. And you know what? We're going to put it into Santa Mix. We're going to save fuel now. And we're going to burn it later. When we're in the pit stop phase, we're going to save that fuel for later on. Because we're going to need it more so then. Right, we can hold position for now. And stay ahead of these guys. We can actually put it down to lean, I think, in the corners. I don't think they're going to have any chance of overtaking us through here. So let's just go nice and easy. Oh, a little bit wide there. That's going to allow Marky Weber to have a little look through. Mark Weber does have a look, but he's out wide. He's gone off the track. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, we made slight contact. There wasn't that much. We kind of squeeze him out. Right, we will rejoin midway through the battle. And we will hold on to position this time. Mark Webber, see, he went off the track anyway. I didn't even have to do anything. He did himself. Everybody's gone off the track back there. Oh my God. We've got a yellow flag. Will we be our safety car? But he had two safety cars so far in our career. No safety car, but Mark Webber. Hamilton and Button. And the McLaren's actually in the hot seat, I think, for the championship right now. As they've got some serious straight line speed. Hamilton backs off, though. No, Mikey, no, no. Do you think you'll ever get an in-game face scan? I have spoken to the guys, and I hope so. I hope so, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, Hamilton on the inside. We're going to give him the room on the inside of the corner. Oh, what a send from Lewis. What a send. I probably should have put it into Richmond. Oh, it's Button. Jensen Button out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Where's he going? Where's he going? We're going to switch it back on him. Look at the straight line speed he's going to get. We're going to use the curves, though, and get him back down into the first corner. Here we go on Jensen Button. Down into the first corner. Whoa, Jensen. Just turned across me. Ben will get a penalty for that one, too. We've got him back, though. We've got him back. There we go. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're back in the lead. Vamos, Hayden. Destroy the McLarens. Hey, Hayden. Do you... Who do you support in F1? We are a uh, Lance Stroll, Aston Martin, and British driver supporter. But no one will ever take my heart as much as the man in P2 right now. The goat that is Jensen Button. He is my boy. Also a Joe Granu fan. But I think that goes without saying because we do play with him. We do play some F1 with him. So, Lancey boy. Well, you got the nationality of the driver correct. True, true. Not too difficult. Sergio Perez, my rival, beats me at the moment, isn't he? Because he got the podium. He got the P2 in the last race. So my rival, Sergio Perez, beating me this season. But we might beat him to a first ever race win. Right, I should probably put it down into... Uh, I mean, I put it rich now. And then we'll go back to standard after this straight. Jensen Button may have a look here. The break of the 150 meter board. Jensen Button on the inside. We're going to hold it. And we're going to hold the position. Okay, Jensen's still there, but... Oh. We to make sure that's on primes. We need to make sure that's on Prime, so don't accidentally put the uh, options okay, on. We've Prime gone purple! I don't think we're going to hold it. I don't think it's going to stay purple, that. I think somebody else is going to nick it away from us. No, we are the fastest man on track. Yeah, that's what we like to see. I mean, we're the pole man, so that does make more sense. And the gaps are spreading. It's not like we're holding up a massive train. We've got Button back there. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can hold up. What is your AI level on the wheel? Uh, about 95 uh, usually when I stream. If I'm not streaming, then I'll bump it up to like 105. But on stream, it's about 95 because I like to not pay attention and chat to you guys. All right, through the left. That's nice. Okay, on the brakes. On the brakes. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay. Things are good. I think Button could be our closest challenger in this race. So it's somebody we do have to watch out for. 
I think Button could certainly get uh, get amongst the mix in this race and uh, challenge us for the for the win. Keep on that one. We're boxing lap six. We can go one lap earlier if we want to. Don't know whether it'd be wise to do so. Hey Hayden, I have a question. What steering wheel do you recommend? Uh, good steering wheels to use. Stuff like the. Uh, uh, whoa! I wasn't paying attention. I'm too busy reading chat. Sorry. Bye, Charlotte. I don't know if that was you going, but bye, Charlotte. I don't know if you're still here, but have a good evening, Charlotte. See you later. Are you excited for F1 World on 23? Yes, I am. I am excited. Right, Jens the Bud's got past me. Let's get him back. Let's get him back. I've got all the ERS in the world. What am I doing? Go hard on the brakes here, but we can't do anything. Can't do anything there. Jensen Button. Jensen Button might actually have us. We got curves though. We got loads of curves. Whoa, Jensen Button so so quick now. All of a sudden. What's happened? Come back here, Jensen. Come back here. Jensen, come back. We're gonna get him on the inside. Whoa, that was close. But he's gone very, very deep. Trying to cut me up. We can go on the inside now. And we've got him back. Let's go. Let's go. This battle's going to continue. Me and Jensen, what a fight. The championship leader right now. This man. He has had his Weetabix indeed. He really has. Right, back into lean. Save the fuel. Save the fuel. We don't need, we don't need the pace at the moment. We can save it. Through the left. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. We've really only got Button and Alonso fighting us. Oh, that's not good. That's just a loud Jensen Button through. We can get him back, though. We know we can get him back. We'll get the DRS on him, and then we'll get him back. Let's put it into rich mix fuel, though, to make sure we don't lose the DRS on Jensen Button. Remember to use I definitely DRS feel the dirty air, I believe, on this game. Like, I'm really struggling out of corners compared to how I was when I was in the lead. And in front, the Jensen Button. The there he is. We're going to have no curves to try and get him back DRS, with. But we can use the DRS to claw him back. Look at this. Look at the straight line speed we're going to have over Jensen Button. We can maybe lunge it on the inside. Breaking so deep and late into the hairpin. It's too deep. Jensen Button with the switchback. Beautiful maneuver. Can Jensen Button win two world championships? Oh, do you know what? I, don't say that. I might just let him go. I might just let him have this championship of this race win. I think it's going to be difficult to hold on to these positions. These guys are quick. But we're good in turn one. I believe we're really good in turn one. Not there, though. Not that time. Jeez. Didn't really gain on anything on Button. Sector one is where we excel, for sure. Come on, come on, come on. This is our chance to get Jensen Button back. Come on, Jensen. Come on, come back here. Pace is good. It's good for a podium, but I want that win. Welcome, Owen Jones. How are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. There's too much understeer at the moment. The AI definitely getting the better of me. Might be a wise idea to box this lap. And then we don't have to worry about... Uh, how, is, how is Pace? Maybe we go one lap more. Maybe we go one lap more. You're just ahead of Alonso. Push it. Don't let him catch you. Button has lost us. We're out of that DRS zone now of Jensen Button. Alonso on our tail, but I don't think he's going to be close enough to really challenge us. What do you reckon, chat? We go one later or we, or we stay? In my opinion, EA and Cody need to focus on more improvement career mode and bringing... I think F1 and World is a good idea. Just you wait and see. I think F1 World would be good. Corner cutting. We did cut across Fernando Alonso there. What is Button going to do? Button doesn't box. We're not going to box. And neither is Fernando Alonso. Neither is everybody else. That's because we're all boxing lap six. That's why. The pit crew are ready for you at the end of okay, this Okay, round. okay, okay. This is going to be difficult. Jensen Button's run away. It's uh, disappointing we're not going to win this race. Despite leading it. We advise mix two. Mix two. The we're AI just seems to be moment. absolutely rapid. Like We're really good for the first lap. And then we just fall away a bit. Okay, it looks like the car ahead is trying to create a gap. He's running full red. Okay, maximum he's running power. maximum power as well. We've kind of got to do the same if we want to kind of keep up with him. Come here, Jensen. Box, box. 
Hi Hayden, I'm back from the farm from my neighbour, time to the stream. Hey, welcome back, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good day. On the grass slightly, that's not going to do us any good. A little bit of a slide as well from the car. A little bit on the marbles as well, we're not good through that area. We've just got some really good straight line speed, but not good through the corners. Unfortunately, I feel like it's just hurting us a little bit too much. That's going to have to be a flashback. Do you have a good day, Hayden? I have had a good day so far. I've been doing some recording for something very special, which you will see later on next week. Right, let's not break too early into there this time. But one flashback remaining. One chance. Jensen Button has a three-second lead now. Three second, which is about a pit stop. Which means he's probably not going to get held up in the pit lane. But I've got a hope. I've got a hope. All good, never right. All good, all good. It's all fine. Don't worry about it. Here comes Fernando. Won't be close enough to get us on the brakes, though. Right, we're going to stay out. Jensen Button does box. We're going to stay out. Who else boxes? Alonso boxes. Hopefully, they hold each other up. Tire life. Looking fine. Looking fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a safety car this lap. Give me a safety Paul car this lap, come on. Paul is, Paul is in the box. Paul is in the box. We're going purple at the moment. That's what we need to do. More purple laps. Absolutely perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Set the benchmark, Hayden. Show them what you can do. Show them why they should have picked you up at the end of last season and why you finished second in this championship last year. Not like that through there, though. Jeez. Jeez, man. What a terrible line. Okay. Okay. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. Remember to pit this lap. Whoa. Slide, slide, slide. Not good. Use all the curves because we don't need to use any of it left. Hamilton's going to be boxing this lap, so I don't mind him getting past me. I'm not really going to fight it too much. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. Just hopefully he doesn't do anything silly right in front of me. Or hold me up either. Lovely. Okay, that wasn't too much time lost there. He's going to fly straight on into the pit lane. And we are going to stay out for one more lap so we don't get held up. Oh my god, that bollard's gone as well. We're going to stay out one more lap here. And hope that that is going to be good. There's a back marker back here. I don't know what's happened to them. got a new set of prime tyres fitted, going for a longer period between stops. Right, they're going to primes. We are staying on the options for one more lap. Right, box, box, box. Everybody type box, box, box in the chat. We have to, Ronald. Otherwise, we're just going to get held up by other drivers. We're going to get like five second pit stop and lose so many places. Hayden fuel. Yep, yeah, we can save it in the pit lane. I just need to jump these guys. You might want to consider dialing down the fuel mix. Yes, Otherwise Andy. We yes. Run out by the end of the race. Don't worry, Andy. I keep sliding all the time through there. Oh, not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's nice. That's nice. You need to pit in this lap. Yeah. Copy. 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 We are boxing this lap. It's a slower lap so far, but only by two tenths on my personal best, which was last lap. So that's not too bad. We've just got to nail the pit lane. Nail it. That's what we got to do. Hamilton done the overcome button, did he? Oh, he did. Okay, this could be really, really good news for us. This could be really, really good news for us. The overcut could be really powerful around there. Right, into the box. And into lean mix. And there we go, into the box. Right, tyres, primes. Prime tyres I want going on. Prime but they are battling, so maybe they will lose time. Oh, I, I hope. I hope. They are battling right now. That's true. That is true. Button's got back past Hamilton. Come on, where's this going to put me? 
Where are they going to be? It's a 3.8 second stop again. Where are the AI? Where are they? Where's Jensen? We're going to be ahead. We're going to be back in the lead of the Chinese Grand Prix. Let's go. Let's go. Undercut was not successful from Jensen Button. And we're back in the lead of the Chinese Grand Prix. The place where we won my first race in 2011. We could maybe do it two in a row here in China. And now we need to save fuel. We have to save fuel now. So we're going to do that through the corners. We've just got to nail the corners. That's all we've got to do. Nail the corners. Get the temperature back in the tyres. And hope the button does not overtake us. Because if he does, we know that he can get away from us. Button's so close to my tail right now. He's going to try it. Have a look around the outside. It's not going to work for him. Button so close. Hamilton also there as well. Both drivers wanting to get amongst the fight. Here comes Jensen Button. Down into this corner. Nothing he can do there. Nothing he can do there. It's Fernando Alonso, not Lewis Hamilton. So I don't know what's happened to Lewis. Whether he's had to box again or what. We're going to have to go. No, not options. Your options mix. There we go. For your next box. God, it's so hard on a controller to do all those different things at once. Hold off Button. Hold him off as much as we can. And now there's nothing really we can do. Here comes JB, breaking later than him, maybe slightly, as we throw it into the hairpin and we hold position on Jensen Button. Fernando Alonso getting in the mix as well. Both drivers have won a race. Button has finished third as well. Don't know where Alonso finished in the first race, but both drivers will be wanting, will be wanting to try and hold on to this position and try and leapfrog the other in the championship. Whoever gets the win today, I think out of the two of them. Probably leads the championship, unless Button has that much of a lead over Alonso right now. But it's interesting to see no Sebastian Vettel or Mark Webber anywhere near the front at the moment. Sebastian Vettel seems to have really dropped off so far in 2012, but you never know. He could be back. He didn't win the most races in 2011, but he was the most consistent driver. And that's how he won the title. Fernando Alonso, 1.4 seconds back. Maybe we can get a gap to him. That would be nice. That would be nice on Fernando Alonso. Don't think it's going to be possible though because we're just slower through this section of corners. Oh, especially if we run wide there. What are we doing? Oh, these lights are really straining my eyes. Fernando Alonso has a little look. Can't do anything there. I need to take a break and look at the screen. Damn. Woo. My eyes. Maybe we should put the glasses on. I don't know if that would help, though. I don't know if it's really been helping them. There they are. We got the older ones. Let's put these on. Right, here we go. Your teammate is in the points, I think. Let's go pull the rest out. He starts in P9, so I hope that he stayed in the points. Oh, that was a bit silly of me. I need to go standard. I need to go standard here. He's going to give me the only chance to defend against these guys. They're scrapping away. Hamilton's back, I believe. Fernando Alonso not quick enough, even with the DRS, to get past me. We're going to hold on to the lead of this race. And it is Hamilton. And there is a Mercedes joining the fight as well. Hello. Nico Rosberg has had a good career in this Rags to Riches so far. He had a, a lot of podiums in the 2010 season. Oh, my God. Here comes Fernando Alonso. We're going to have to use a little bit of curves to try and stay ahead. But even though... He's going to try it. He won't be able to sweep around the outside of turn one. We saw Jensen Button try it multiple times earlier on. He failed every single time. So we'll hold on now. And we're going to keep it in lean mix to get that fuel back. We're still minus one lap of fuel. Before you said you don't need the glasses. I'm going to try it. I don't know. Maybe I need the glasses. Oh, they've dropped back massively. This could be a chance to uh, get away, break away, and just get a lap of uh, breathers. There's not much between you and the car behind. Just this pit lane reminds me of Sebastian Vettel's double overtake in the pit lane. Well, it is the same pit lane. He did do it in China. Oh. Oh, it's a little bit too deep there. Come on, come on, come on. I have a chance to get away from these guys. Let me get away from them. Why are they so quick through the corners? Why are we so slow? Have we got a second gap to Fernando Alonso? Is it one second? It is at the moment. I don't know if we're going to hold it through the DRS zone. We might do. Has Fernando Alonso got DRS on us? I don't know. I'm going to keep it in lean. 
I'm going to keep it lean and see. Fernando Alonso, he's way back there. There's no chance he's gaining on me. No chance. He might get slipstream, but I don't think he's going to get it. Did you like F1 as a child? Yes. I played all these games as a kid. Back into optimal fuel. That's what we like to see. Fernando Alonso has a look up the inside. We cut that door off. We closed him off there. There's no way we were letting him through. 2012 was a nice season. 2012 was a great season. One of the best seasons in recent Formula 1. I think 2021 is definitely up there. I don't know which one I pick out of the two of them. But 2012 is a great season. Oh, a bit too much curve there. Right, three laps left to go. Come on, Hayden. Come on. We'll go standard in a minute because we can go lean throughout these corners and still hold the position. Raikkonen goes quickest out on track at the moment. Who is your opinion on the GOAT? The GOAT is Nicholas Latifi or Pastor Maldonado. And there's no... There is no discussion there. Maybe you can hold up Alonso. So, I mean, we're holding them up anyway. But I'm not going to risk my race win so that Paul DeResta can score a point. We don't want to help out Paul DeResta anyway. Because if we beat our teammate, it unlocks more teams for us. So we want to actually kind of hinder our teammate, in all fairness. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hayden, do you think Alonso could win Monaco? I, I hope. And I am on the hype train. But I think, you know, the, the Red Bull's still going to be ultimately so quick around there. Right, come on, come on, come on. Right, here comes Fernando Alonso. We need to go into standard mix. He is going to get the DRS on us. We're going to go to the inside. And we basically just open the door for him. We're going to break later than him, though, into the hairpin. Can we get the car slowed down? Yes, we can. And we've held position. What a move back there on Fernando Alonso. Hamilton making his way back up onto the podium. And back into P2 as well is Lewis Hamilton. A big scrap happening right behind us right now. We go lean once again. Lean once again for one more lap. So we have pace on the last lap if we need it. Because we are probably going to need it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see what we can do. Maldonado versus Gotifi. Maldonado versus Gotifi indeed. Look at the train. We were so clear at the start of the race. We had so much pace. And I think, unfortunately, it's just fallen away from us. I think it definitely shows in these races that we can start off really strongly, but then the AI will get better. Hamilton or Michael Schumacher? Again, it's different eras. You can't compare the two. I love both drivers, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer that question because I love both and I can't pick between either of them. You cannot make me. You cannot make me. Can you say hi? So I feel loved. Hey, Roko. Roko? Roko? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I felt a little bit loose there. I heard the squeal of the tyres. Right, ERS, ERS, ERS. We've got a little bit of a gap. Put it into standard mix. Can't afford to go lean. Cannot afford to go lean. Tyres are a little bit on the hotter side, I think. Here comes Lewis Hamilton. We're going to defend the inside line once again. And we're going to break later then. There's no way he gets past me. Just like Fernando Alonso tried. Oh my god, they are fighting. Fernando Alonso with a big lunge on Lewis Hamilton. He's going to retake P2. Look at that. Look at that. Who won the real life 2012 Chinese Grand Prix? It was Mark Webber, right? Well, sadly, it will not be like real life today because we are in the lead. We've got one lap left to go of the Chinese Grand Prix. The streak is probably going to come to an end, but we've got three different winners in the first three races, Force India only ever won a race with Liutzi in 2010. What was it? Malaysian Grand Prix we did. And we can maybe put them back on the top step off the podium. But we've got one lap separating us from that at the moment. Eight tenths gap down to Fernando Alonso. Hamilton's dropped a little bit off of Alonso as well. Maybe we those guys. Problem with curves. Problem no, with curves. no, no. We've got a problem with curves. We've got a problem with our curves. That's going to hurt us, especially down the long straight. Okay, okay, we need to build enough of a gap that Fernando Alonso doesn't get us. But I don't think it's going to be possible. We need to put it into rich. We need to put it into rich mix. We should have the fuel. Oh, why now, car? Why now? 
Fernando Alonso, I think he marked up a bit there. I think we got a little bit of a gap. I think we got a little... It's not enough. There's no way it's going to be enough. Right, we've got to defend hard from Fernando Alonso. What is he going to do? Where's he going to go? We're going to defend. We're going to defend to the inside. We've blocked him off. We've done that perfectly. But here comes Lewis Hamilton on the inside, outside. Where are they going to go? They can't go anywhere. Down into the hairpin. I think we're going to hold it. One more corner left to go of the Chinese Grand Prix. They threw everything at me. They even got butt in the head. Oh, no. We've slid. No. No. We've lost it at the line. Did we hold it? Oh, my God. Did we hold it? No. No. We bottled that. Oh, my God. No. No way. We literally finished at the same time. Oh, my God. No. No. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that happened. Literally the exact same time. Oh. If only we had Kurz. If only we had Kurz. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. Fernando Alonso wins. Any DNFs in today's race? Michael Schumacher, no DNF, but right down at the back of the grid, unfortunately for him. Je Mark Webber manages to get his way back up to P8 after we had a little fight at the start of the race. Oh, man. View replay, please. Okay, let's have a look at the replay. How do we uh, fast forward on the replay? But this is going to take ages to get through. Okay. You guys can watch the fast forward highlights of the race and... Um, Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay, we've got to do that again then. I want to get rid of that. I'm going to go fast. Okay, right. FIA investigating for the Chinese GP result. Let me know. Did we win it? Did we win it? Would you rather have creator series or co-op series with Arav? Why can't I have both? Why can't we do both, eh? I cannot believe that. We had some really good battles. A lot of tire squeal and we just overcooked it. Through the left hander, too much curb. On the left, we were very, very lucky to save it. I don't even know what happened. Like, I don't even know what happened there. But that is an absolute L. An absolute L. <laughs> Literally, as we were celebrating the race win, we mucked it up. Do I really have to view replay chat? This is going to take a while. We take a drifted last corner. We did indeed. Highlights from the fast replay of the Chinese Grand Prix. Look at this. This is where Jensen Button, I think, got me. And then he just drove off. I wasn't able to keep up with him from here on. What did we get back? Yeah, we're going back there. Nah, this is going to take too long, chat. This is going to take too long. We don't get a replay. I don't want to watch my misery again. Oh, I cannot believe it. I can't. Oh, you want to see if a photo finish? Okay, all right. We'll see if the photo finish. We're, we're literally only like halfway through though. We're not even halfway through. Hey, Hayden, are you attending Goodwood this year? I haven't got any confirmation that I'm going to be attending. I don't know yet. I mean the bottle job of Hayden. <laughs> oh, Fernando keeps the win. No. I think Fernando was ahead in all fairness. I don't think it was as close as it looked. But if we are ahead... And they have got that wrong. Then I cannot believe it. Do you have the F123 game for, to review? Don't know what you mean, Mohammed. Don't know what you mean. Don't know what you mean, mean Mohammed. No idea what you're on about there. 2002 USA Grand Prix flashback. As a kid, who was your goat? As a kid, my goat was uh, Michael Schumacher and then Jensen Button. Hayden Ferrari wants to sign you after the last corner, mate. <laughs> Uh, race control instance between car 14 and 6. I am car 6. On the pit straight, photo finish instant will be investigated after the session. Common Hayden L's. Dark Shadow, how can you? Lorenzo, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, Mikulas, uh, Michaela and Halil, thank you very much for the subs, guys. Uh, and Live TV, thank you very much for the subs. We are currently on, subscription-wise, we're currently on 163 likes. Let's see if we can get to 200 likes for the stream. Currently on 27,000. And 27 subs right now. 
which is insane. Thank you very much, everyone, for all of your support so far today and during the stream. We're flying through this. That's where Lewis Hamilton boxed, and we went one lap later than him, and we were able to put in a good shift and uh, stay ahead of those guys. So that was good. Chat was losing the win that way, deserving enough of me to put him in cockpit cam. Yes, Doc, he bottled it. No. No. What even is the next track? Spain, isn't it? Do we get a Spain next? It's fine, mate. I'm racing. I racing? It's racing? By the way, Rosberg won the Chinese... Yeah, it was Rosberg, wasn't it? Okay. Well, we are no longer realistic. Nico Rosberg is the winner of the Chinese Grand Prix. Are you using Xbox 360 or PC? We are using uh, Xbox 360 for this. Right, this is where we came out ahead of those guys and we, the battle continued. Look, look, look. We are just over halfway through at the moment. I'm back. What absolute bottle did I miss now? Oh my God, Snapple. You won't believe what we bottled, mate. You won't believe it. We're in the lead. We're watching the fast replay right now of the Chinese Grand Prix. You will not believe. I imagine this is what Arif does when he has to get the replays for his career mode. Nah, because it's too fast. It's too fast. You don't get the engine sounds. I don't think if you slowed this down, this would sound normal. We were really put under pressure. I hate Spain, but the new layout looks way better. I think it'll be good fun. I'm hoping it's in the game. Uh, Hayden, did you pre-order F1 23? I don't need to. I am in that luxurious position in content creation where I don't need to pre-order it. Uh, what controller do you use? Xbox, PS or PS5? I don't know. I've got an Xbox 360 controller right now. Right, let's have a little look then. We're coming towards the end. I think we've got about two, three laps remaining. We had a good chance here. We had a gap to Alonso. They were just quicker than me. Again, at the end of stints, they're just so much quicker than us. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. We won in China last season. We could have done it again. We could have done it again. I cannot believe it. I'm glad that we didn't crash. And I'm glad we got second place. Because it's still a lot of points. Mate, lovely to see your channel growing day by day. Being here since 10k. I think I was at 10k for the start of F122. In all fairness. I think I can have a little look here. Um... I believe 20k was at the start of F122. I can't have a look here, actually. Um, but yeah, I believe that was the start of 22. Hey, 172 likes. Let's get to 200, guys. Come on. We can do it. Right, are we close? Okay, we're close. Okay, let's not go too far. Right, anybody who missed what happened, this is what happened. We lost Kurz at this point. We were pushing like hell with no Kurz to try and break away from Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso, though, he was hunting us down. He was right on our tail. He had the chance to overtake us. We blocked it perfectly. He had to back out of the move. Lewis Hamilton then tried to go for the overtake around the outside. Wasn't able to pull it off. At this point, we were all calm. Everything was good. We've got Alonso and Hamilton fighting each other right here. And then through the last corner, what did we do? We touched the grass. We touched the grass. Oh my god. How do we change camera? Look, we touched the grass. That unsettled the car. We go through the left. We're sliding. We're still sliding. We catch it. Fernando Alonso is on our left. No. No. How much by? How much by? No. Fernando Alonso. Oh, we won! No way! No way! I what the hell? We won that. Look, we get to the line first. And is is it because our car's longer? Oh my god, no way. It's because our car's longer than his. Look. Look, we've not quite crossed the line. It's the same. It is the same. You cannot tell me that that is not the same. Look. Midway pack. It just depends where the driver-wise, we are ahead. We are ahead. I think. I think this this is 90 degree here. That's 90 degree. Nah, 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 nah. That is nothing to choose from. Look at that. We definitely get to the line first. But I think over the line, rear tyres. 
Past the line, I'd say both of us is there. Any part of my car still crossed the line. I don't know where. It, uh, it's got to be the de de detector. But Fernando Alonso somehow takes the win. That is absolutely mental. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Anyway, that is it. Hayden Fernando is faster than you, engineer. Both should get 25 points. That is what exactly why I wanted the replay. Oh, my days. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Oh, where does that put us in the championship, now though? Okay, P4. P4 in the Drivers' Championship. Lewis Hamilton third, Jensen Button second. Two points. Two points away from a Lotus seat right now. That is really, really good news. Uh, my teammate way down the field in the championship. Uh, P15. Constructors, though, we're holding the four. P5 ahead of Sauber, ahead of Mercedes. Only two points away from Lotus. Red Bull having an absolute shocker uh they're only on 38 points mclaren are storming away with it right now by the way that replay is good for a youtube short i think so as well i agree hayden it's james let alonso by and uh, we did in a very embarrassing fashion right we've got two races left to go on this stream two races left to go of this stream so Let's see what we can do. We can maybe still pick up a race win. By the way, uh, what's your favorite track of all time? I think Hockenheim. I love Hockenheim. No, Mikey. No, no, no. I know. It's so not right. Bahrain is up next. Let's do this. First podium of the season, though, indeed. He's a star. Stefano Domenicali. Who is in the lead of the championship? Alonso is in the lead of the championship now, right? The full senior team principal uh, urges repeat of another podium position. Our first podium of the season and our 15th, I believe, of all time. So very, very decent 15th podium of all time. We are currently beating Paul DeResta 3 to 5. He's outqualified me twice, though, and has got three fastest laps. I've got zero, um, which I don't think we're going to beat him on because the AI always seem to do better on fastest laps, but that's okay. All uh, right. What was the objective? The objective was to win the race, wasn't it? Yeah, because of qualifying. Because qualifying was so good. That's annoying. Uh, dry, obviously, for Sakir. And we are going to follow an aggressive approach of R&D. That's fine. No R&D for this race. Let's get into qualifying, then. I gave my reasons, and I stand by it. What's that, Mr. Dark Shadow? Chad Lonzo strikes again. Do you think you can get a championship? Oh, yeah, definitely. For F123, we can win a championship for sure. Out my glass of water. It's way over here. And it is empty at the moment. My glass of water is currently empty. <laughs> I'm joking. You don't have to give me a glass of water. I've only got two races left. Why always when I see the stream plan, it says for 3 p.m. Dutch time and later goes to 7 p.m. Dutch time? Uh, no idea. Victor, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. My first video watching you was crashing into the teammate. Good video. Good video. Where was there Michael Massey back there in 2012? No, uh, it was a guy called Charlie Whiting. Um, right, no need to do any practice because we don't need to do the R&D. So let's just get straight to qualifying and see what we can do in Q1. Again, we're going to get rid of the sound and then see where we can go from here. So we're going to mute the sound and we're going to fast forward the stream. Exactly. Rest in peace, Charlie Whiting. What a guy. Uh, right, let's uh, fast forward the time. I think, again, let's go out with about 10 minutes remaining. Then it gives me an option to do another lap if I have to, but also can stay in the pits if I feel like I'm comfortable. Team at Marduk, though, smashed the setup for the last race. Good job by him. Let's see if he can replicate that here in Q1 in Bahrain. Right. Um, okay, we can... Put that back on. We should have the pace to qualify easily. You say that, but I am also washed at the same time, Mr. Engineer Andy. Athlete VG this time. We're going to be loading up his setup. So let's see what he has got on the car. Uh, looking at the gear and the alignment. It's got a little bit different. A little bit more staggered. A little bit more different there on the setup. Uh, but still mainly focused on the straight okay, line speed. Like, you know when you need to like, kick your knee? You've got like, a little bubble in your knee. I can feel it. 
Get out. Don't know if it's clicked. Uh, we can look at the teammate challenge here. So everything's looking good there. On Paul de Resta to maybe get another four senior seat for next season. You saw you bottle churn it. Yeah, I did. I did. I won't lie. I did. At times, I just don't get how Hayden only has 26k for such great content. Underrated. I know why. I know why. I appreciate the good words. And, um, you know, it, it keeps motivating me to keep on doing what I'm doing. But um, it's because I haven't always been consistent. But now we are getting some really good consistency on this channel. And that's probably the main reason where I've been going wrong in the past. Right, here we go. Got to find one. In Bahrain. I don't even know where all the breaking points are. Gone off in oh, somebody's two. gone straight off there. I can see that. Two. I can see that right now. Well, we're going to break a little bit earlier into a lot of corners. Sector two is showing green. Back to racing and they're back to racing conditions. I don't know if we can get on the uh, on the on the dirt on this game. I think you can. I think you can use the dirt on this game. Right, the first time we did Bahrain, we obviously did that really weird circuit. Now we are on a normal one. One normal Bahrain. Right, we went purple, sector one again. What is this? What is this game? Come on, we can do this. Hey, I'm the exact same. I would be on like 1.5k by now if I uploaded once a week slash month. Yeah, it's all about consistency on here. You've just got to be consistent. Now we're doing like three to four streams a week. I'm uploading shorts every day. And when I'm not streaming, I try and get a video out. And that is the way I would say is, is uh, what is helping me improve right now. Still purple. We can be on for another pole position. It could be back-to-back -back poles here on the F122 season. And we bottled the lap. Oh my god. Right, okay. We, we, we can use the flashback. I just like watching this guy. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Oh, I think I need to break about here. Here. Okay, before the 100 meter board. It's not F1 2012. I can't break off the 100 meter board. Pole lap? Is it going to be pole position? That's moved us up into 13th. Okay, it's only 13th. That's all right. It's still fine. It's still fine. I think we're still going to be through with that lap time. I think we'll still be fine. We just lost too much time in... um. In sector three, have you got Lando's number? I don't have Lando's number. No, Lando's number no isn't one of the ones that I have. Um, right. P14. We might have to go again. Charlotte, I am not gonna get. I would not give you Lando's number even if I had it. All right. You can't have Lando's number. Even if he did give me his number, that would be really bad of me to then give his number out. I think that should be fine. I think that should see us through and into Q3, uh, Q2. I know what you were trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, Charlotte. You might say no that you weren't. Good work. We're through to the next right, B14. That's good. It's so you can call him. Ah. Lando, I'm in F1 2012. What were you doing in 2012? And can you give me some help? What was Lando doing in 2012? Karting, most likely. The worst track before 2023 was Spain. Because of the chicane of doom. Better, but the new layout looks way better. Carton. Probably. Yeah, probably carting. Um, right, again, let's uh, just mute the stream. Um, and I need to find out whether this is copyrighted music or not. But I do it the hard way. Carting low, he was 12. So he was carting. Right, we'll go out with 10 minutes remaining once again. We have the potential in the first two sectors to be on pole. So I don't get why it kind of slipped away from us. But let's see what we can do. New set of tyres on the car. And yeah, let's go out to track, see what we can do. Fun fact, I got kicked out of a TikTok live stream because I asked the person his favourite colour. That is an interesting way to get kicked out of a live stream. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hayden, do you like Hamilton more or Russell? I'd probably say Hamilton. I right, break of the 100 meter board. Maybe I broke too early in that corner. Right, let's see what we can do here. In Bahrain, we know we have the potential to be on pole. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is uh, blue. 
Oh my god, oh my god. That was the same place that we broke the first time around. Yet, yeah, it didn't work for some reason. Hamilton's setting a 133.0. Sounds muted. Sorry, sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Sorry, sorry. There you go. As long as I don't do that for the race, that's fine. Right, maybe I should stop using the dirt. It doesn't work. Get out of the way, please. Oh, as if you're going to park it on the apex. Lewis Hamilton. This tomfoolery I will not stand for. I'm pushing too much on the track okay, right now. Not good, not laps. good. You playing Formula E, lol. Because <laughs> it's got no sound. Guys, there is sound. He's just playing Formula E. Oh, guys, no. You can't, you can't be saying that. Poor Formula E. Right, better through there. Better through there this time on the brakes. Not better through there on the track, though. Two tenths down on the leaders. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we've got, though. One sector left to go. This is where it all fell away from us. So unless the AI is just rapid through this last sector, I just don't have... I can't get, I can't get it hooked up. Where is this going to put us? Unfortunately, we are going to have to go again. If we don't 17th get again. Oh, my God. Okay. Right. We were on for pole. Chong. Chong. You missed your race. You missed your race and you didn't miss anything in China. Don't worry. Don't ask what happened in China. You didn't miss anything in China. Nothing Hi. happened. Oh, okay. Hi, engineer. All right, I'm going to go. I have to go out on a new set of tyres. And then we can't go out in Q3. Rip your floor in turn 12. Which one's turn 12? Oh, the uh, right-hander. Right, we need a better lap time now. Three minutes to go. Three minutes. What do you mean, Clips? How dare you clip that? Out the corner. DRS, ERS to the line. Let's see what we've got in the locker then. Come on. We know we are quick through the first two sectors. I don't get where we're losing so much time in sector three at the moment. He's curves out of the corner. DRS from there onwards. And let's see what we can do through sector one here. We need to break a little bit earlier than we did last time. Right there. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's much nicer. Got a car. If this is Lewis Hamilton again, it better not be you, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, no. It's Jensen Button this time. Get out of the way. What are these two doing? Absolute muppets. Two minutes remaining in the session. We need sliding. Zero, sliding we're through there. Line. We're going purple, but I think it's glitched. I don't think we're actually going purple. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Come on. I believe. I believe. I missed the apex there again, but it's okay. It's okay. Come on, 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 come on. We're late on the brakes through there. Oh, we're up, we're up, we're up. We're green. We're green. This is good news. This is good news. We are green. Come on, get us through to Q3. Come on. We need it to score points. Let's not mess up the last corner. Why do we not have any breaks through there? It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. Down to the line. I don't think we're going to beat the top guys, but we should be at 133. We don't. You're into 16. Why is into sector 3 so slow? I don't think I'm going to have enough fuel, but I'm going to try again. One minute remaining. Just nah, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, my God. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're just so slow in sector 3. I don't understand it. I do not understand how we are losing so much time. Guys is out of Q1. No, we are out Q2. Of P16 and Paul DeResta makes it 3-1 in the qualifying challenge. But the race is where it counts. The race is where it counts. We're going to try our best to score some points here in the 2012 career mode. Corpy Cameron's a punishment? No. Only for five gifted members. That's how we do it. Those, those are the rules. Them the rules.
Copy cam as a punishment, same thing. Uh, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. I am from India. Better win the championship. What, for the Force India team? McLaren are scared of you after the last results. They are blocking you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We get blocked twice in quality there by McLarens. Both McLarens sent out just to hold us up. Hey, Ronald, member for one month. First month complete. Thank you very much, Ronald. You absolute legend. Thank you for the midfield runner membership. Right, here we go. Race day in Bahrain. Let's see what we can do. Let's get some Hayden hype in the chat if you have the emotes and some Hayden love. For our boy Ronald, one month complete as a member. Let's go. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So engine-wise, nothing to change there. We have a free set of tyres to choose from. But we are going to choose these ones because we don't actually have a new set of tyres to choose from. Okay, right. And then pits are primes. So that's fine. Um, okay, let's go out to track and let's see what we can do from here. For the race, Caspero. Caspero? Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Round four of season two. Season three, indeed. The Bahrain Grand Prix in the 2012 season. It is Sebastian Vettel, the real-life race winner on pole position. We are a little bit further down the field. Not a good qualifying for us. Down in P16 for today's qualifying. We look good in the first two sectors. Sector 3 seems to be slipping away from us. The lights are on. The engine's revving. And we are racing at the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we're going to overtake people down to the first corner. Use a lot of curves. And see what we can do into the first corner. Try and find our way amongst the other drivers. A big send. Pick out the gaps. See if anybody dri any drivers going to lose their front wing. Everybody gets through nice and cleanly. A little bit of pushing. A little bit of barging. Oh, Perez, get out of the way. A little bit of contact there with Sergio Perez. My rival in this career. And we're going to see what we can do. Maybe go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton. Sergio Perez has a little look. And we've got Sergio Perez. We're going to get back on Lewis Hamilton there. And move ourselves up to P7. What a start. The starts of this game are just goated. We're so good at race starts on this game. Nico Rosberg. Maybe I can have a look at him. Under braking. We can. Michael Schumacher as well. Roman Grosjean holds on to P4. Somebody's driven into the back of somebody. And they've broken their front wing. We don't really mind though. We're up to P5. What a start. What a start to this race. Oh my god. The slide. I've got flashbacks now to China with sliding. I don't want it. I don't want it. Bruno Senna, indeed. Bruno Senna is in the 2012 game. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if this is going to be able to be held on, held on to. We just don't seem to have the pace around here. Like, am I breaking way too early for this corner? I feel like I am. I feel like there I'm breaking way too early. Did he win? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won China. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't tell him, chat. Don't tell him we won. Just tell him we won. Okay. You don't have to tell him what happened. Okay, here comes Nico Rosberg. The straight line speed from the AI is just like F122. There's nothing we can do here. We're going to hold it, though. Under braking into the first corner on Nico Rosberg. Michael Schumacher having a look up the inside. I think that is. And he is. I've got both Mercedes all over the back of me right now. He did a Leclerc in France. No, 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 no. Mr. Dark Shadow, you're, you're lying. Don't lie to him. We won the race. You know it. <laughs> Bro, imagine watch. Hit the sub button. Indeed, hit the sub button if you are new. And also make sure you hit the like button on the stream. It really does help out. Right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Let's hold this. Let's fight it. Holding on nicely. Very nicely right now. Oh, Schumacher's gone off the track. He's gone deep. He will have it for the views. Indeed, indeed. All right, get the car thrown in. They're batting up ahead, which is not allowing them to get as far ahead of us as we thought they would. Where is Sebastian Vettel as well? Is Vettel still leading this race? That's what I want to know. Because if we make it three out of four realistic race winners... That is insane. Technically, we did win. Yeah, you're right there, Arslan. Technically, we did win. 
We crossed the line first. We just somehow didn't get classified as first. What happened in China stays in China indeed. Rosberg's wiggling. He's giving us the wibbly wob and he is overtaking us. Okay, we're going to lunge it back up the inside. Nico Rosberg, here we go, up the inside. Trying to take him back. He's going to squeeze me on the inside. And we're going to get him around the outside. Here we go. Alonso's dropped down. Grosjean's got them. And there was a big battle going on for P2 at the moment. If they can keep batting, that's really, really good news for us. If they don't, then it doesn't matter. We're still in P5 at the moment, which, again, is a good result. Paul's punctured the tyre. Paul! This lap, if he can get the what have you back. done? How have you punctured your tyre? Oh, Paul DeResta. Oh, that's not good. Don't get stuck on there, Hayden. Felipe Massa, ahead of his teammate at the moment. Might get the old Fernando is faster than you. How many races left in the stream? Two more. Two more. I think this is round four of the season. My maths is correct. Oh, go Bollard. See you later. Hamilton closing in on the back of us now. Paul DeResta has gone. I don't think he's going to be finishing this race. Especially after getting a puncher. Nice. Look at that. Nice. I like how the breaking point is kind of similar to uh, F122. It definitely does help when I'm running with no racing line on a, uh, well, 11-year-old game. Come on, come on, come on. I've got to stay ahead of Nico Rosberg. Or can Rosberg get me? Maybe it's wise to let Rosberg go. He can have DRS. Uh, or I get DRS and then I get him back. But I don't know. Maybe not this lap. Maybe not this time. Five second penalty for we're Hayden. Instantly taking numbers, out the bollard. Oh my god, they're going the inside. Okay, okay, we're going inside now. Oh, and he's driven into the back of me and broke his front wing. We're going wide. Three wide at the moment. The car. His race is yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Paul DeResta's out. We've broken Nico Rosberg's front wing. He's not going to be happy with us. He is not going to be liking us right now as Alonso is batting with his teammate after Roman Grosjean's got past the both of them for P4. No, P2. P2. Grosjean P2. Sebastian Vettel is running away with this race. Just like real life. Just like real life. Sebastian Vettel in the lead. In command. Chilling. Hayden, that's what happens when you touch grass in China. I know. I don't want to touch grass ever again. I'm staying indoors forever. Rosberg has been overtaken by Lewis Hamilton, but Lewis Hamilton has dropped up a little bit. I don't know if Lewis has got any damage. Rosberg does, which is good news for me. Maybe not be good news after the race or in the future if we want to become teammates at some point. I don't know. Well, if we become teammates, we replace Lewis Hamilton, don't we? Oh, a bit wide. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. Should I delete the message? Right, here comes Fernando Alonso on Felipe Massa. Surely he's going to get him this lap. Surely Felipe Massa is going to be overtaken. Was uh, Rosberg overrated? No, I don't think so. I don't think Rosberg was overrated. He beat Lewis Hamilton. Equal machinery. He wasn't massively off the pace in 2014 and 15. Or 13 as well. Felipe Massa has been overtaken by Fernando Alonso. I don't think those guys are going to be fighting much anymore. Alonso might hunt down Grosjean though. Don't know who's going to be quicker there. We're running a really good race. And I'd say we're more legit, actually, in P7. Maybe not P5. We are kind of holding up Hamilton and Rosberg at the moment. But after all the pit stops sort themselves out, we could be in a good place. Oh, we need to go standard. I keep forgetting about the fuel. That's silly of me. Cannot forget about fuel. Rosberg 2016 got lucky. I don't know. You could say he also got unlucky in 2014, you know? could say he's been unlucky in various other seasons sometimes you get luck sometimes you don't it's just the way that the world works that's like saying you know Hamilton got lucky in ways in 2021 and Max Verstappen got lucky in ways in 2021 you know doesn't mean that neither of them didn't deserve the title both of them definitely deserved it one of them just won it more than the other that's how sport works 
But I had to use all my ERS there. I think Hamilton's still going to get me. Pit window this lap. I don't know whether that would be wise, though. Here comes Hamilton on the outside. We should be able to break later than him. Which we can. We can break later. Oh, we tapped him round. Yeah, that was only going to happen. That was only going to happen, wasn't it? He cut across me. He cut across me. Wasn't my fault. Nothing happened. Right, nobody's... Oh my god, what has happened? Both Ferraris have driven off the track. What has gone on? <laughs> what has just happened? Both Ferraris. Look at this. You can spot them up the road. They've just driven off the track. They've just driven off the track. Okay, well, we're on the podium. We're on the podium, chat. We are on the podium. P3. Roman Grosjean P2 at the moment. Oh my god. Yeah, flashbacks cause drama. We don't have to tell anyone, okay? It was legit. They drove off the track. Those who watch the stream will know. Those who watch back the videos will be like, oh my god, 2012 is insane. It's so random. I was just about to say, I don't think anyone got DNA. Why did that happen? I didn't even, did I even go off the track? I just hit the brakes. I broke, I broke, I broke, I turned. And it just went as soon as I turned the corner. Okay, we're running out of flashbacks right now. Anybody crash this time? Everybody get through okay? Okay, everybody got through okay this time. At least I think. That's a Ferrari for you. When you like Merck was finding a perfect lap. Ferrari moment indeed. Right, do we box this lap? I think we can go one lap more when there's less drivers potentially in the pit lane. Oh, that was a bad line through that. I think if we go one lap more, less drivers in the box. And maybe we can do the overcut again on these guys. We'll have to wait and see. Fernando Alonso right on my tail. But he won't be able to overtake me before we get down to the uh, last corner. He had a little look though. Overextended and that's going to block off Lewis Hamilton. And they're going to come into the pit lane. And get the car slowed down. Okay, that's good. We're going to jump Sebastian Vettel and move ourselves up into P2. We've still got a little bit of a train behind us at the moment. Which is not really what we're wanting. Seven places up on predicted finish. Let's go. Let's go. We're goaded right now. In the Ferrari, we're following the strategy. Spin into turn two and lose position. That doesn't surprise me. Even back in 2012. Come on, come on. Grosjean still leading this race. Could you imagine if Grosjean does an insane overcut? I'm pretty sure 2012 as well. Was it Grosjean in P2 or was it Raikkonen? Oh my god, Hamilton just drove around the outside of me and nearly pulled it off. He nearly pulled it off. EA give you the game because you're a content creator. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm not saying anything. You'll just have to wait and see. Hey, only 12 more likes. We got 200. Come on, chat. Come on. Hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Box, box, box. Box, box, box. We're wide, wide, wide. <laughs> W11. W11 knows what's up. W11 knows what's up. Right, they're all going to fly into the pit lane. Yep, there we go. Massa and all those guys. I didn't want to pit because they were definitely going to hold me up. I probably should have pitted the lap before. It would have been the better time to box, but now we're going to box this lap and hopefully go faster. Eight job. places up from Keep race prediction because we are now in the lead. We won't stay here. Vettel's going to get us back. Look, Vettel's already behind us. Grosjean is not too far either. And then we're after we box, we're, we're going to go on to uh, low revs because I need to save fuel. Which might lose me some positions, but it's just what i got to do. We're down on fuel. Car is a little bit more skittish on track. We're still going green. We're still improving. We're still setting better lap times right now. 
Hopefully they're going to come out in maybe a bit of traffic. You never, never know. Mark Webber goes fastest right now, but he's quite a bit off of everybody else. I don't think Mark Webber's going to have a chance in this championship. This is very good for Vettel, though, to get his championship hopes back on track. Because at the moment, as it stands, he's quite a bit off. He's not had a good season so far. But anything can happen. I can see where Hamilton is. I don't know where Button is, though. Button could be quite a bit off, in all fairness. Right, box, box, box. Will I play F1 23? Yes, I will. Don't worry. I will play F1 Manager 23. Don't worry. Right, into Lee Mix. Into the box as well. We might gain here because I feel like we can drive quicker into the pit lane. Especially if we do something like this and then go, bam, into the pit lane like that. Much quicker than the AI. Yes. That's what we like to see. How many races left? This one and one more. Quick pit stop here, guys. Come on, into the box. Quick pit stop. 3.7. Where is everybody else going to be? Where is Alonso, Massa, Hamilton? Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Fernando gets me. Fernando gets back into P3. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. I don't mind that too much. We only lost the one position. And we're going to stay in lean mix because we need to save the fuel back. So unless Fernando Alonso makes some sort of mistake, you know, maybe a drive wide into the last corner, then we're going to hold on to P4 for the time being, which is good. Two P4s, a P2, a and a P10 in this season. I'll take that. I wasn't expecting that coming in. I was expecting the season to be a lot harder. So it has been harder so far, I think. But we've been consistent. We've been able to finish races, which is good. Which is kind of what we didn't do in uh, 2012. So technically, we are still kind of in a championship fight. We just need to finish in the front more. I was playing cold with a friend and the AI did a five stop in a 15 lap race. What? Kurz is offline. Oh, Kurz offline again. No. Why would you keep doing this to me, AI? Or oh, Force India, why? Okay, now it becomes a lot more difficult to hold off Lewis Hamilton. Right, Lewis. Okay, times are looking good. You're matching race pace. I've got a plan. It might work. It might not. This is a terrible plan, or it could be an amazing plan. I don't know. It could be a really, really great plan or a really, really bad plan. But without Kurz, this is the only thing I can do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is it a good plan? It's a terrible plan. Even with DRS, I've got nothing. Up the inside, though. Oh, my God. I can't get the car stopped. I've done the Ferrari strap. I've done a Ferrari strap. We wouldn't have held on to it anyway. Even if he had DRS, we wouldn't have held on to it. I can maybe try and do it better. But without Kurz, we are really, really in a bad situation right now. And that's going to make this race even harder. What? Car ahead has a puncture? Who? Who has a puncture? Oh, we could have got back in a P3. I mean, I can't see anyone having a puncture right now. Who has a puncture? Who's got a puncture? We need to know. Can't be Lewis Hamilton because he's driving fast. Massa's all over the back of me. I don't know if somebody just drove off the track there. We're trying to defend the inside line as much as possible. But there's not a lot we can do. Not a lot we can do. Felipe Massa can't go around the outside there, though. He has to back off. I don't think anyone has a puncher. I think they're just lying to me. I think they're lying to me, chap. Unless it's Vettel. We fixed the problem with curves. Yes! We right, okay. Well, we lost one position from that. But at least now we can defend. Now we can defend from the AI. See you later, Doctor. Have a nice evening. Maybe Vettel, maybe. I hope not. I want Vettel to get his championship back on track. All the curves, all the curves, all the curves, all the curves. Get away from Felipe. As much as I can. Down to the line. Right, let's see what he's got. we we'll go standard mix. We're going to let him have the inside line this time. See what the AI does on the inside. We can break later than him. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got him. Did he crash? He crashed. Felipe crashed. I didn't do anything. I could have a little look. But I think Felipe crashed. Did he hit me or did he just spin? Uh, oh, he did. He just hit my rear tire. 
And round he goes. No safety car, I don't think. I mean, I'd like a safety car, but I don't think there'd be a safety car. Shouldn't be for that, but nobody's got a puncture. Unless they have told me, and it's a slow puncture, and it's on its way. Maybe a slow puncture is on its way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Michael Schumacher now on the back of me. Is that a Williams? Is that a Williams in P7? Fair. Well, Williams doing a good job. Maybe Williams was the team we should have gone to. Maybe we would have had a better time. We should have stayed with Williams. All the time you have to leave the space. What do you mean they're not sure Monaco will take? Come on, fuel. Come back to me. I need you. I need you, fuel. Who is fuel? I don't know. Why is fuel? I, I also don't know. Uh, come on, come on, come on. We've got a lovely train. Vettel goes fastest up of everybody right now. Again, the AI so quick at the end of the stints. Right, it didn't work last time. We're going to try again. This time we have Kurz. This time we have Kurz. And we also have... Wait for it. DRS. <laughs> How's he still quicker than me? I mean, we're in lean, which makes sense. But still, how? All right, let's get it all slowed down. And we've got Michael Schumacher. Let's go. Let's go. We've got him. We're back in a P5. Six more likes to 200. Come on, chat. Let's get to 200 likes on the stream. We can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see what we can do. Eight seconds already up the road is Lewis Hamilton. He's already eight seconds up the road for me. We're going to stay in lean and then we're going to go on to uh, standard mix as soon as we've got onto the straights. Schumacher all over the back. Past the Maldonado, P7 at the moment. I don't want to lose out. Can you switch to the steering wheel on F1 2015? Yes, I hopefully will be able to. I'm hoping the CSL Elite is uh, compatible with F1 2015. Look at the cars! Look at the battle we are having behind us right now. Oh my days, it is close. It is a close contested fight back there. And we're going to use this opportunity to go into standard mix and see if Schumacher gets past us. I think he got me. I think he got me. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe that was a mistake. Either way, we're going to compromise this line. Use the curse. And... Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Okay. Okay. Never mind. They're fighting anyway. We're all good. We're all good. They're going to have a three-way fight. It'll be perfectly fine. No one's going to drive into me. And we are safe. Rosberg's back. Oh, no. He's going to be back with a vengeance. Oh no, here he comes, Nico Rosberg. Hopefully he doesn't do anything silly because we did break off his front wing earlier on. Come on, chat, we can do this. We can do this! We can do this. They are holding him behind me. Okay, come on, come on. If you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you click that subscribe button chat. So you never have to miss when we go live, when we post a video. We've got a video going up tomorrow. Hey, 200 likes. Let's go. Let's go. 200 likes. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, through the left. Everything's good, though. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Nice and tidy through there. Come on, come on, come on. Vettel still going quickest of anybody. Out on track, no surprise. He is the race leader and he is dominating by a mile at the moment. Michael Schumacher, though. Go past, go past, Michael. Go past. There we go. That's what we like. And then we're going to switch it back on him. Yeah, he won't make a mistake, but we have DRS. Come on, Michael. Come on. To the line. We'll get DRS and we get him back. Look at that. Right. Now we can't afford to do that again because... This is the last lap. We can't afford them through. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I've gone so deep. No! 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 We've held it! We've held it! We've held it! We're good! We're good! We're good! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, that was close. I thought that was done. How many races have you won so far? We have won seven races total in this career. Seven races total in the career mode. 16 seconds now to Lewis Hamilton. It's doubled since the last time I saw it. Or I paid attention to it. Schumacher is still on my tail. Look at the train we have caused behind us right now. We don't care though. We're on for a really good result. A top five once again in the career mode. Decent points. Okay. Not quite what we need, but we we'll still take it. Oh my god, no, we need to look, go low on the fuel. Sebastian Vettel wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's probably going to be Roman Grosjean second with Fernando Alonso third. He also takes home the fastest lap for good measure as well. Good man. Right, one corner left to go. Michael Schumacher having a little look at us there. We're going to use all of the ERS all the way down to the line. We're back into optimal fuel. The break hard for the last corner. One last time here in Bahrain. Through the final corner, Michael Schumacher will have nothing left to try and attack us with. And it is P5 on track right there. There we go. Good points. Good amount of points to add to our tally. And that's going to help us hunt down for that P3. Yes, okay. Fernando Alonso and also Lewis Hamilton scored more than us. That's fine. Jensen Button didn't. Jensen Button's going to be hurting from that. Sebastian Vettel, though, wins That's a solid fifth place. the Bahrain Ten Grand Prix. Good job. Roman Grosjean in second. Fernando Alonso third. Look at that. Love to see it. Two out of the three of the real-life podium for that race. Right, Paul rest of the only DNF for today. And that is going to do for the Bahrain Grand Prix. You're in We're fourth P4. place in the Drivers' Championship. Yeah, thank you very much, Engineer. We're P4 in the championship, 41 points. Still only four points away from Lewis Hamilton right now, so we haven't lost out too much. And we are currently P5 in the constructors. Again, not too far away from Lotus, but Grosjean with those points uh, definitely helped him out. See you later, Mr. Dark Shadow. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, right, let's see what we can do later on, though. We've got one more race left to go. And that is going to be in... Uh, where is that going to be? Spain, isn't it? Spain, I believe. I believe. Massa has gone from winning the championship. He didn't win the championship. Sebastian Vettel won the championship. Massa bottled the championship with two races to go and scored zero points in the last two races. Allowed Sebastian Vettel to win and me to finish second. Uh, right, last race of the day. Let's have a little look. We're going to Spain. We're still beating Paul DeResta. It's 3-1 on out qualified and faster lap. We did get a faster lap than him because he did DNF, so that's good news. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to beat him on that one over the season. I'm back. Oh, but well, you got to go. Okay, see you later, Charlotte. Right, Catalonia. Um, 10th place in qualifying, 7th place in the race. I don't know how this is going to go. We have got some R&D that we need to do as well. Uh, so we will do that as well. Oh, yeah, of course. I was literally in chat. No problem, Charlotte. Hopefully we see you on the next one. Thank you very much for joining us. I don't know. How is your memory that bad? I miss the days of 20% races. We used to be able to get these streams done so much quicker. We might have to start splitting them up from five races because this is going to take nearly four hours of a stream. Which is a long old stream. A long, long old stream. When's the next stream? Next stream will be the same thing on Thursday. We'll be carrying on Rags to Riches doing rounds uh, 6 to 10. There. Right, here we go. Circuit de Catalunya, Barcelona. Uh, let's see what we can do. First of all, I'm going to put the, the uh, R&D. Spain. I don't know who did the Spain live the Spain setup. But we have a Spain setup called Spain. Um, right. So we have actually got some R&D put on the car. We've got some rear body work. Increase the rear stability, which is good. We need that after China. Bloody rear stability. R&D objective. Beat the average lap time over three laps whilst testing a new rear wing. Ensuring you use your DRS for more than 45.7% of a lap. Okay. 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 All right. We'll try that. We'll try that. Beat the overall target time of four minutes. 
Let's see what we can do. Epic, welcome to the stream. How are you okay. doing? We want to test Who do you think deserves the championship of 2008? See Lewis Hamilton. Oh, thank you very much for launching me out. Distance. That was uh, that was great. Launched me right out where I didn't want it to launch me. Why are you on prime tires? This feels horrible. Right, I've got to open it for 70, 40, 45% of the lap. Okay. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. DRS open, all the way to the line. Let's beat these lap times. Oh. Yay, we've done it. 100% of the lap. We've done it. Look at that. Smashed it. Oh, please don't get in my way. Oh my god, there is no rear stability on this car. What do they mean? No rear stability whatsoever. Okay, we kept the DRS open. We've got to keep it open for more of the lap. You're showing good R and D pace. Good, keep good, good, good. We went below momentarily, but we're back up. Get out of the way, De, De La Rosa, get out of the way. Get out of the way, De La Rosa! Okay, we're back up. We're back up on the thing. That's good. That's good. That's good. We go down again here. Get it back up here. Good, good, good. I think we can use the RS. We can. I don't know why I've not been using it. That is wide. That is wide. Get the RS open though. Close it. Open it. Close it. Open it. Close it. Open it. That place is where we would not open it in the lap. Oh my god, we might not actually do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta close it here though. Can't take that corner flat out. Oh my god, are we actually gonna do it? We just about do it. We just about did it. Oh my days. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So slide through turn one. Why are we sliding in turn one? God, it's fastest overall. That's what we like to see. Oh, I got the DRS open. I think too late there. Oh my God, the car is so sliding. You can definitely open the DRS, I think, for longer than in F1 2011. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just trying to concentrate at the moment to make sure I don't crash because I've got my DRS pretty much all the time right now. Which is not safe to do so. Not even in this F1 game. Do I make the corner this time? I do, I do, I do. That didn't give us the time to sleep. Bye, guys. Bye, Hayden. See you later, Chong. Have a good evening, man. I think we're going to end after this R&D test because I'm going to have to go make dinner soon. So you won't be missing out. We're going to do more races and maybe we'll have to do one stream where we do six instead of five. We've got to get to ten rounds, at least in the next one. So uh, the next race will be a little bit more streamlined. Come on, come on, come on. DRS open. We're going to do it. See you later, Chong. Have a good evening. Great lap. That's the quickest of the Have a the good car. evening, Chong. Come on, come on, come on. Hit those max revs. Are we going to slide at turn one? Not as bad. Not as bad this time. DRS open. It's going to be slower, though. I think we should be the target time. We're still going fastest, but it's only really the back markers who are out on track right now, so that's fine. That is all good. Come on, come on, come on. Maldonado now goes quickest with a 126. We are probably compromising ourselves by having the DRS open a lot longer than we should. I don't think anyone should have DRS open for this long. Come on! That was late on the brakes. That was too late on the brakes. It's definitely giving me more confidence though with the DRS. That I know that I can push it a little bit more. 
definitely giving me a lot more confidence. Come on, DRS open. To the line. Come on. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Boom. P1 as well. Take that, Pastor Maldonado. Take that. Right. How is that going to do for the session chat? How is that going to do? Right. We're going to end the session as well. So we're just going to... Uh, skip the session to qualifying and we will kick things off with the qualifying session of the Spanish Grand Prix. Do you think F1 will ban Sausage Curve soon? I think they need to be banned. They are far too dangerous. P18 well down the field. in the session. Right. That is going to do chat for today's stream. Thank you very much everyone for joining me. Thank you for the 27k subscribers and also thank you for the 200 likes on the stream. Thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next stream which will be Thursday. I will have a video which will be the start of of the 2011 season that will go out tomorrow as well. So make sure you tune in to that. Right, have a good rest of your evening, guys.